Hello. <laughs> <clears throat> So last time we romanced Logan. Now all we have to do is get married and adopt Andy. <laughs> oh, there we go. We got the achievement for the pipeline. Let's go. Updating that right now. 54 out of 60. Ha <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm doing the big load real slow nowadays, it seems, which kind of sucks, but I guess it is what it is. <laughs> Thank you. No problem, Justice. All right, so I had to go sandwriting with um, Mia. I could take a break from work. Want to? Yes. <laughs> you know, this kind of reminds me of when we were young. Yeah, we'd sneak out after lunch and just soar. <laughs> It's a different feeling, but it anyway. Let's go. I want to go sand painting and sand running. It's like the sand rock specialty, right? Come on. Oh, are they gonna magically transport us? Oh, we, we rented the guy. So, tell me about the Duvos invasion. Oh, am I am I controlling this? Wow, no way. The minister was Tiger the whole time? I've talked to Matilda before. Hey, Belsby, how's it going? This Steve guy doesn't sound so bad. He's going good, that's good. I want to be nude? <laughs> oh, yeah, that guy. You, Logan, and a mole, huh? Um, have you played Overwatch the a new season? Spaceship? I have. Um, I am on like, I don't know, uh, thirty oh on the battle pass. I think at this point. Space? <laughs> oh, I'm just so glad you're okay. So this is the sand painting place. Hey, you remember that time when we painted my pa's barn door? <laughs> <laughs> we were so proud of our work of art until my I haven't played it yet because I have nobody to play with and it's one of those games that I can't play alone honestly oh no I don't remember what my pa said at the time but I can That's the still worst. remember yeah, hit me up red face as you grabbed me and ran away <laughs> in retrospect the painting itself was pretty awesome we just made a right old mess of it at the time my pa's a neat freak so I know why he got so upset he ended up cleaning everything up, but he kept the door with the painting. He never mentioned it, but I'd sometime catch him looking at it with a grin. I think he liked the memory. Aww, that's anyway, cute. now's our chance to make art without getting ourselves into any trouble. Oh. Why don't you choose what we paint? Oh, I don't understand. I'm just gonna play whatever I want. <laughs> Let's draw some Come paint. draw this with me. Uh, paint some sand. Uh, what? Oh, thanks. Oh my gosh. Why isn't she running with me? Why do I have to paint by myself? Come on, Mia. My giant skirt should do enough to, like, cover all this area. <laughs> This reminds me of that like turtle uh, writing uh, daily quest in World of Warcraft. 
of yours is way better than mine. But together, we made a lovely painting. <laughs> huh, Sandrock's such a funny place. You really wouldn't think sand could be this much fun. Next on the agenda, sand running. I've heard it's a wild ride. To be honest, I'm a bit scared. <laughs> Just a bit. You know, because we'll be going so fast, down a hill, on a rickety wooden board. Thanks. Well, let's go then. Oh, I feel so bad turning her down. But I got my husband, Dito. <laughs> Honestly, it hasn't been that bad playing Overwatch lately. Whoa, it's huge and so steep. If we fall off, it's not going to hurt, right? Okay, I get it. Oh, deep breaths, Nia. Relax. Let's go, Nia. We gotta go see everything. <laughs> oh, she's with me. I thought we'd be racing against each other, but that's okay. Oh no. Oh no! The camera angle! I've become a completely different person now. I am invisible. Oh my goodness, please. Turn. Turn. <laughs> I am invisible so bad at this. I want to play some more multiplayer stand around, but waiting for the people I'm playing with is a little sad and painful. Ooh. <laughs> I did so much better during the sand racing event. <laughs> Zoot. I know you were being extra careful to avoid a fall, but it's okay. Let's go faster next time and enjoy the speed. Oh, she wants more? Okay. Thanks for coming with me. Oh. There's so many rocks here, Katori. You're a monster. <laughs> oh, I'm in the rock again. Oh no, I'm like really in the rock again. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh, this is, oh, oh, I don't know what's going on. It's horrible. I feel like I've gotten further away from my uh, cart. <laughs> okay. Let's not leave and call Merle and go away. How do I get out? Oh no, am I broken? Oh, I'm broken. Oh no, what do I do? I don't want to start the date over again. Oh, this is the worst. Um, eight minutes. 
that's it though. Is there a desert wedding today? Nah, not today. <laughs> uh, more like a desert adventure. Always a wedding parkour princess. <laughs> How are you today, Yor? Ah, I'm so bad at the go karting. <laughs> So I guess the trick is to not get stuck in walls. <laughs> Took a sick day, so I'm doing some remote work while relaxing. Oh. Well, I'm sorry if you're not feeling well. I hope like your relaxing day is super relaxing. <laughs> Still working even though you're at home. Oh my goodness. Oh, so Vroid finally added tails, but I don't know how to get the bones to do what I want it to do. Or just kind of like wiggles, I guess, or waves like a cat tail does. So I'm going to have to um, ask Nana how she did that with her crazy hair. Oh god. Oh, I'm broken. I'm sorry, Zeke. I don't know what happened. Let's just let's do some. I don't know what to stream today. My game is broken. <laughs> We're just gonna quickly relaunch it and hope for the best because oh my goodness. But I had no idea that it saves after each um, like when you turn in a quest. So that's pretty cool. Updating cloud status, reloading game. <laughs> I'm like suffering from an art block again, which kind of sucks. Because, you know, art block. <laughs> I want to make these really cute little emotes for snow of an owl. Hello, Kuro. How you doing? like honestly I don't think I've really played any games lately except for Overwatch <laughs> in Stardew Valley oh and of course this when I was streaming and I think tomorrow I'm either doing refill company or content warning I honestly can't remember why would I walk anywhere Hello, Merly Merly. You're a cute little goat, unlike the cat girl with your namesake. <laughs> Points to people who understand me. <gasps> it's Fang. Hello, doctor. Oh, honey. You're my favorite little birdie. It's content warning tomorrow. My brother is a... <laughs> Oh, thank you. Thank you. I agreed to it, but I forgot what it was. <laughs> oh, Zeke. Okay. Oh. oh, these are good. Sir, I grew those. I put so much work into growing those for you, and you're just gonna say, oh, these are good. Oh, I see how it is. <laughs> how are you doing? How's it going, Unleashed? But yeah, so I will be playing a uh, content warning tomorrow with Unleashed and Nep Nep and their friend, whom I don't think I've met yet. So that's gonna be fun. Little chaos critters. 
Genetics and her Thank you. I wanted to play Sea of Thieves this weekend, but I hate playing on Golden Glory weekends because people are absolutely dreadful. Thank you. Anything for you, Doctor? Director? Director. <laughs> okay, so his name is Chi, and then there's Mr. Chi uh, from Stardew Valley. And I keep getting the two of them mixed up, so I'll be talking in about Stardew Valley, and I'll be like, you know, Director Chi, and they're just like, Selfie, this isn't Sandra, and I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> uh, yeah, I hate your quest. Why do you we hate me so work. much? Wanna... Yes! <laughs> I... Oh fuck! No! <laughs> no! Anyway. No! I. I didn't mean to. I'm dating Logan. I have no interest in you, Nia. Uh, let's quickly close the game and reload for the third fucking time. Oh my god, I am scuffed as shit today. Please, forgive me. Come on, load, 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 little cloud. <laughs> Doing good. Oldest dog is a little sick today. Got him all snuggled up in a blanket, keeping him comfy while I work. Aww. I hope your doggo feels better soon. All the cozy wozy. <laughs> so I made the conclusion. I'm at the conclusion where I am going to 100% a game every month. And. <laughs> It's probably not going to be Sandra because uh, there's a few ridiculous ones. Um, and I had to wait a whole season for like, or actually like three seasons for one of them. And one of them it requires me taking first place in the sh uh, showdown at dawn. But um, I've never actually made it to the, to the res registration for it. It always uh, closes before I even get there. Where did it save? Oh, oh good, oh good, okay. It's saved here. Turning in commissions saves your game. Good to know. <laughs> oh! I finished building my greenhouse this weekend and put its little tarp on. Um, they gave me the double one instead of the single one that I paid for. So I had to get a little creative um, while building these magic Legos for adults. <laughs> and um, now I have a spot um, <laughs> where my little tomatoes are going to climb up. I'm so excited. All right, let's get this over with, Nia. We could take a break from work. Want to go camel riding? Yeah, sure. Yes, you're the, <laughs> you know, yeah. Anyway, let's. <laughs> if I hadn't done this cutscene like three times already today, I probably would have. Um... Oh, I so, hate this. tell me about the Duvos invasion. Wow! No way! The minister was Tiger the whole time? I've talked to Matilda before. <laughs> this Steve guy doesn't sound so bad. I want to be new. <laughs> <laughs> you, Logan, and a mole, huh? A spaceship? Oh so, my, she got sent into space? You did pick a voice at the beginning oh, of the game. I'm just so glad you're okay. <laughs> it's a little sad that you don't so actually hear your side of the conversation. Place? Hey, you remember that time when we painted my pa's barn door? <laughs> we were so proud of our work of art until my <laughs> pa happened upon the scene i don't remember
remember what my pa said at the time, but I can still remember his beet red face as you grabbed me and ran away. <laughs> right? It was so beautiful. I mean, for a couple of kids anyway. I think he secretly liked it. He ended up cleaning everything up, but he kept the door with the painting. He never mentioned it, but I'd sometime catch him looking at it with a grin. <laughs> I think he liked the memory. Anyway, now's our chance to make art without getting ourselves into any trouble. Why don't you choose what we paint? Okay, I get to do the choosing. Hopefully it's not the turn up again. Oh god, everything's broken. Again, I'm just having flashbacks to like, wow dailies. <laughs> I was so about to post too. <laughs> Another turtle has made it to the ocean. Yours is way better than mine. But together, we made a lovely painting. <clears throat> but we worked on <laughs> the same such one. A funny place. You really wouldn't think next on the agenda? Sand running. I've heard it's a wild ride. To be honest, I'm a bit scared. You know. Because we'll be going so fast, down a hill, on a thanks. Well, let's go then. <laughs> Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go. Womp. Womp. I wonder if there's an achievement for hangouts or if it's just party hosting. I don't even know where to get the invites Whoa, for parties. It's huge! And so steep. If we fall off, it's not going to hurt, right? Really? Phew, <laughs> that's a relief. Well, what if- <laughs> It's like lying to a child about going to the dentist. Oh, you know if they should have added tourists to play this along with you? Like, because, you know, it's a race. <laughs> oh, good. It looks like there's less in our way this time. <laughs> it was very chaotic last time. You were amazing back there. I blinked for a sec and whoosh, we were off into the air. Thanks for coming with me today. This has just been so much. It felt like back in the day. Just kind of doing our own thing, not a care in the world. Aww. <sighs> I feel like getting older has just brought on all sorts of pressures and responsibilities. <sighs> Sometimes I feel there's just never enough time to wind down for a little bit. Still, it's nice that we managed to fit in a day where we can just unwind, right? And then back to the grindstone tomorrow. <laughs> See you later, okay? See ya! Here we go. This time we didn't jeopardize our relationship. <laughs> Ooh, I think I'll start another multiplayer run with someone and um, romance Fang. He's such a cute little gooby. All right, Merle, let's go. It's Logan. Hey there. You got too much to do in the workshop. Ah, oh, yeah, he he's my soulmate now. Well, I'm sure Jack can figure it out. 
Oh no, is it time for, where is it? I've had this in my pocket since the, the mysterious man first came to town. Oh, okay. He's my soulmate, but he ain't ready for the ring. It's okay. You just fight him in the ring. <clears throat> yes, that's how you win your love, right? Gambling and, and combat. <laughs> it's okay. Logan's been turning us down forever. We'll eventually get there. <laughs> I also need to replenish my supply of cheese sandwiches. Why cheese sandwiches? Because the people who I'm trying to befriend like cheese sandwiches. Do you want an iron spear? I guess I could do that for you. Let's use... Oh, that means I should probably process some more hardwood. Uh, it's this one here. Uh, we probably need more iron plates, so let's add that to the cave here. We should probably smelt some more crap. Especially since we only have 15 co uh, bronze bars. Lemon copper, that would do. We're good on mining these. Oh, okay. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> what else can we process that we're in need of? Got iron plates going. Maybe some. Rubber doodads. <laughs> Probably some more chromium steel too. Womp. Okay. Let's rebuild the machines. Doot. And now where's my little cooking station? Okay. We need chestnut milk. And cheese sandwich. Cheese, cheese, cheese. <laughs> Feel depleted. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm sorry, Robert. Armor's actually better than what I ooh. Wanted to see what this looks like. Interesting. I need a weapon rack. That is what I need. <laughs> now where are my little daggers? Uh, weapon rack, weapon rack, weapon rack. I'm pretty sure it exists. I guess it'd be under furniture. Weapon, 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 weapon. I was, I was sure it was an item. Weapon. Maybe I'm thinking about my time at Portia. <laughs> Weapon rack. 
and open weapon rack. Where do I get it? Game stop. Oh, good. <laughs> <sighs> Looks like we have to go gamble. Alright, alright, let's go. Ooh. Oh, no. What? We have another quest, but it's the wait until tomorrow. We're going up here. So I should probably make another Yakmo cart. Sweet. <laughs> oh, it's not even a recipe. Oh, it's the party management. I need that. And I need the sand cleaning chip. What else is in this? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, damn, <laughs> they want so much for a retro van. And a police don't break up with me, Bear. <laughs> Hey, there's my best pal. Say, when the next big construction projects come along, let's say you and I pull some strings and put it all on the other builders. <laughs> then we can take the day off and go play hooky at the game center. What do you say? Okay, okay. Just a thought. I'm down. Let's Catch go. Later. I'll play hooky any day with you. Oh, I have to say hi to Arzio. Once. I was closing up shop late at night, and suddenly a menacing shadowy figure dashed across my peripheral vision. I shouted and leapt up into the air in surprise as the ghastly figure crept closer until I saw it was a tumbleweed. Be seeing ya. Oh, what do you want? Oh, oh, I don't want to play Mahjong. I don't know how to play Mahjong. Mm -hmm. Hang a sofa. How, Prince? Sir, that is an expensive sofa you want. I don't even gamble that much. <laughs> so now we have a weapon rack. We can put all our cool weapons. Okay, so I have found cool weapons for every single weapon except for like melee weapons, except for the one I use. Does no one love the twin blades? <laughs> Zoop. Zoop. All right. I'm gonna just put them on display here for the moment. Oh, it only holds two weapons. Madam Mirror. Someone need a makeover. Ooh. Now we just need the harvest chip and the planting chip and we'll be perfect. I just, oh, do you follow salvage shop? Okay. I thought for sure I had everything from the salvage shop. Huh, bounce. Jump. Hello. Hmm. I was having a candor at my water tower the other day and it made me think of you since you're my other best friend. Oh my goodness. Sweet Burgess, you strange little man. Salvage, salvage. Show me your chips. Workshop assistant planting. Harvesting. That. Got these. And that should be everything. Can you say hi to Rocky? Hmm. You know, when we first met, I was kind of still dealing with some anger issues. I don't know if that was obvious to you or whatever, but yeah, I think you straighten me out a bit. Ever think of getting into therapy? I'd lie down on the on your couch anytime. You tell me about my let me tell you about my childhood. Strange but respectable. Water towers deserve friends too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He, he's just a little marshmallow of a man. He got bullied by all the villains. Um, because all the villains were in the church. <laughs> <laughs> and that's where he works. Okay. Let's get planting. 
Hello, I am finally unlocking all your chippy chips. Look at you. Macchiato, my favorite little meanie. Where is Nemo? Nemo, where are you? Macchiato. Okay, so I have a few pets now. Uh, if we just go stand on this, I think, we'll get us closest to the board. So we have a fennec fox, a little owl, um, God, what is a meerkat, Nemo the, the corgi, and Macchiato the cat. They're just little cuties. <laughs> and now we play the um, inventory management game as well as put on the new armor that actually uh, better. <laughs> Even though it's hot pink. Okay, I have all of that. I guess I don't need the heart knot since I'm already eating him. I guess I bought too many control panels. <laughs> oh, here are my weapons. Uh, clearly, I will need more. Um... <laughs> uh, weapon racks, because I also have the fists of light. So we'll try each of the weapons so you can see how super cool they are. See? All right, so first he has this cool dragony looking thing. And then obviously the cactus version. <laughs> it's a giant kitty paw hammer. Hammer. And the rage quit, which is just a giant uh, keyboard, which I think is hilarious. <laughs> I love those. He has the same vibe as the monster hunt, right? I love the kitty cat paws. Hey. 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 Tiny animals making noises. Ooh. <laughs> I'll just play the rage quit first. Oh, whoops. And then we'll get more for all the other special guys. <laughs> oh, we still have a quest to turn into justice. Which, it's already in my pocket, I think. Uh, we'll find out when we go to the refiner. Iron Spear. Oh, it's not in my pocket. Okay. So our little robot friend takes all the stuff off the machines and puts them in the box. And then we have to go collect it from the box instead of like collecting it from each individual thing. All my cheese sandwiches, let's go! <laughs> New stats, yoink. All right, Merle, let's go turn in some quests and give people some cheese sandwiches. <laughs> I mean, who doesn't love cheese sandwiches? Especially the grilled cheese sandwiches. 
Oh, it's Captain. He's just a little smoosh. Oh, and we made him Naruto shoes. Oh, do I have a gift for you? Do you like cheese sandwiches? Here, have a scorpion. Always loved that Monster Hunter had MR Hammer that was a giant cooked chicken like Yes. I'm a little sad as a bow user in Monster Hunter that, like, I don't have a good choke weapon. I think my, like, really cute paid-for bow is, like, it has that uh, rajang on it. But I want something cute. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, so we're looking for Andy, who's up the road there, so let me get a quick stop at the Golden Goose to see if we can purchase yet another weapon rack. Or gamble our way to a weapons rack. <laughs> I want to play Monster Hunter now. Oh, that sounds fun. Oh, okay. I actually need to start the game. Okay, so... I'm supposed to knock as much stuff as I can off. <laughs> okay, I'm really bad at that game. So let's just pretend that didn't happen. Oh, I can't buy another weapon rack yet. Oh, it hates me. Yo and Lee, should we, play, we should play some Monster Hunter Rise soon. I mean, you said you were starting over on Steam, right? <laughs> oh, Andy's on the move. Andy! Oh, he's so fast. When I get older, I'm going out adventuring, probably to the peripheries. I'm gonna uh, find me some buddies and go all the way to the great. I wanna go there too! Take me with you. I'll, I'll go on an adventure with you and Logan there. How about you, sandwich? <laughs> Alright, let's, let's go find. Pavel. You have been making progress on Monster Hunter Rise on stream. Funny enough, I've been wanting to do a collab of it. Yo, hit me up. I'm always down to like punch some monsters. Where the heck are you, Pebbles? Are you in your room? Pebbles. Are you in Rocky's room? You are in Rocky's room. <laughs> Why are you so Oh, I'm under the bed. Here, have a cheese sandwich. Alright, now we just need to find Jasmine. <laughs> I think doing lower level stuff will help me reacquaint with the game because, oh my goodness, I was playing it with uh, Kent and Viddy and it was, it was so bad. <laughs> I, was, I was messing stuff up. Oh, Logan! You doing the thing like a cat? You got too much to do in the workshop. Get me to run out for chores and errands. Yeah? That's fine. Catch you later. Now, where's Jasmine? She's here with me. See, that's why I think that Hugo and Trudy should get married. <laughs> You're in luck. Because I'm currently low rank in the PC on Rise. Yes, that's great. <laughs> Hit me up next time you play it. I'll plug in my controller. I'll be ready. Alright. Where'd you go, Jasmine? Jasmine. There you are. Why are you so fast? Hello. Have a cheese sandwich. I think you like them. 
Because like, I can't give you a scorpion, I'd feel bad. <laughs> oh, oh, you know what I haven't done yet? I haven't done the um, inspection. Gotta get those points so I can absolutely school people. <laughs> Go for now, but it'll keep the monster in her brain. Might have free evenings during the weekend. We'll see. Okay, no, keep me uh, updated. <laughs> have a good day. Good luck with the popo. Oh, yeah, that would stab you. That's for sure. Any recipes? I've learned nano coding and nano tube. <laughs> cool. We'll do and thank. Have a good rest of your stream. Thank you. I'm gonna get all the achievements. <laughs> I guess I should figure out where to get the invites to a party. Hey, troops. Oh, oh Trudy. Hold on, partner. I am never stressed. Whoa, where are you, Trudy? What do you like? Um, you like sunscreen and water. Well, what do you love? <laughs> Characters. Let's go find Trudy. Do, 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 do. <sighs> okay, okay. Um, you love food, office chairs. A do collector, a DNA model. You know what? We can do that. We have like three spare DNA models. Let's go. <laughs> you is LC. <laughs> sort all. I really need to label these boxes. What else does she like? Pro gamer chair. <laughs> oh, there it is. Not the pro gamer chair, of course. Oh, and then I have to set up uh, the change in what's their names. Uh, who that cutie on the screen? Hi, Castrol. How's it going? Have a wave. I think I waved. Yeah, I waved. How you doing? Hello. Nice. 
Nico, have a DNA model for some reason. Wow, thank you so much. Ah, uh, who's next? <laughs> good, good. I'm glad to hear that. What's up? <laughs> Where is Jean? Here is Jean. What do you have for me? Yes. <laughs> she likes toy soldiers, a dancing lion doll, a desk clock, retro fan, eagle flute. I can do the eagle flute. <laughs> eagle in the valley. Uh, let's do a quick gift and go quickly buy an Amira figure because she likes those and it will give me 14 reputation with her. <laughs> Finally changing my chocobo colors on 14 after 10 years. My goodness. <laughs> uh, let's start with Narvio because no one likes Narvio. <laughs> the worst out of the way. All right, we're all, we have gifts to give. Huzzah. Parkour. Howdy. <laughs> Anything for you, doll. Honestly, I don't think I did all that much in terms of like relationship building in my first playthrough. I think I got all my reps strictly through quests. <laughs> Parkour, flippy dippy. Yeah! You gotta do the flip dips. Alright, let's make some uh, relic shit. <laughs> A super buckyball, a chrysanthemum vase, an orchid vase, a sand eagle statue, a spaceship model, an astronaut guitarist, Oh yeah, let's go. Bamboo vase, space suit. <laughs> and a bamboo vase for me, obviously. Okay, my pockets are full of relics. Let's do this. <laughs> I see what I'm doing wrong. Alright, now we need to find a medium space for things. I feel like I should have put the uh, the vases over there. <laughs> Do I get a reward? Oh, <laughs> I'm like hurry away. Parkour, yes. I love that episode of The Office. I wanted to make an animation of it, <laughs> but I am not that skilled. <laughs> All right. So I need to take tally of what big machines I have donated so I can donate them again, uh, so I can donate the right ones. <laughs> hey, Katori. I haven't always been lucky in my life, but I consider myself fortunate to have met a true friend like you out here. Get oh, Katori, you're yeah. so sweet. I don't think I've made all the machines. Huh. Interesting. Oh, let's go. Ah, 
Oh, oh, that scared me for a whole second there. Um, social. <laughs> hmm. Let's get more hangout actions. Ooh. I'm allowed to put a point into the kitty cat. <laughs> Oh, goodness. I, I can't stand seeing like notifications. <laughs> uh, oh, is that game broken? Or is it this game's game? I'm of maternal sadness. I do not. I miss the dark game in Porsche. I made so many like arcade coins that way. <laughs> oh, come on, Merle. We have to go empty our pockets. <laughs> we are full of uh, stuff. So I'm gonna display in my yard for reputation. Let's go. <laughs> Hello, Timon. All right, so we want the little guitar guy. We got the little airship, giant bird. Uh, where's the cool masky thing? Cool masky thing. We got a little um, satellite and the waves. All right. I think I have a giant bird on my roof somewhere. Yeah, he up there. <laughs> He's doing his best. I wanted to wear a lot of fence because it looks cool. Oh, I get to put it up here. I don't know what Heather is back to my little pocket of random shit. <laughs> Oh, 
So if I have this stuff outside, random in, uh, people in town will come by, see it, and I'll just passively get rough. It's great. Uh, what else do we have? I think that's everything I can display. Yeah. So for now, I'm just kind of jamming everything in this corner over here. <laughs> and then we'll stick the rest of it in a box. Surely there's like a half empty box somewhere. <laughs> All right, here, sort. Boop. Do, 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 do. <laughs> and then this empty box, and my empty box, we'll put all our extra weapons in. Uh, all we need is our shotgun, our pistol, this thing. <laughs> Alright, so boop. Number one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. <laughs> All right, and now we're going to assign some more tasks to the magic mirror. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Pet animals, clean barn. Uh, we don't need to collect produce or harvest crops, but I do want them to... Mm -hmm. Cultivate plants, exactly. I guess party catering would probably be the best. Oh, no wait, animal bitch. Uh... Quite content with that. We'll switch over to party catering once we actually start hosting parties. <laughs> you know, when I'm not living in a box anymore. <laughs> okay, let's, uh, today's the day I should, the water should start flowing in. I should go check. Oh no. Thank you, Builder, Commissioner Wei, Mian, for your efforts in bringing the water project to fruition. Thank you, everyone, for your support and generous donations. And thank you to Director Qi for finding the reservoir. This was truly a united effort, and now I hereby officially declare the city-state of Sandrock no longer has a water shortage. Oh, little grandpa. I love little grandpa. <laughs> I also declare, from this day forward, we can all take a nice dip in Martel's Oasis on a hot day. Ah, and since we're
for all here. Professor Law says there have been some developments in our research. For those of you who are interested in discussing, please join us in the City Hall shortly. Oh, you came! Well, let's get today's meeting started. Greetings, humans. I am also uncertain. <laughs> Ruling. I asked Larry to come today. It's all because of Professor Law's findings. I believe Larry may know more about it than we do. So, Professor Law, why don't you start us off with an explanation? I'm sure everything will be a lot clearer after that. Thank you, Mayor Tui. First, I will address the issue of the soil. Nia, Zeke, and I have done hundreds of experiments on local samples since we've been here. We've managed to garner a wealth of information from them. As it turns out, the soil quality varied widely depending on the area. Much more than our models were predicting. This is the key reason why the planting failed in the Eufaula outback. For example, these are the sample results from near Gecko Station. You can see that, for whatever reason, we're postulating maybe the proximity to the oasis. The sand in the area is much softer, and under ideal conditions, the nutrition level is adequate for growth. Now, on the surface, the sand in the outback seems to have similar qualities. But upon closer inspection, the sand there has too much saline in it, creating an incredibly low moisture level in the soil making it unsuitable for water retention. Much of the Eufaula used to be part of the ocean floor before weapons used during the day of the calamity raised it. The salinity left over makes the sand hard and extremely arid. That's why even the algae failed to form a bile crust. No! That's our report. Soil quality is everything. We should have figured this out earlier. But instead, we wasted so much time and water the differences in the soil were incredibly subtle, Mr. Zeke. We only found this out after hundreds of experiments. You can't blame yourself. Uh, ruling human, why am I present? I do not <laughs> understand any of these words. Ah, about that. After we made the discovery, I asked Zeke about the source of the algae. The way I figure it, the old world scientists must have been testing different types of algae for their own biocrust efforts. Which is well documented. We then went with Logan to the sunken ship ruins to recheck all the algae growth there, to see if there were any that can reduce the salinity and increase water retention. But still, the ship must have been going somewhere. Maybe a laboratory or something. And Mr. Logan said he remembered such a place. That's right. I reckon I've been to some place like that. Some kind of old world lab. In <laughs> fact, there are several of them out in the desert. Uh, once I was chasing a bunch of gigglers with my pa when we stumbled onto this high tech ruins. It was just a short hop from the entrance to the Porsche tunnel. What was inside sure did look a lot like the stuff from the sunken ship. Looks like I'm going on an adventure with my husband. We weren't in there long. Me and my pa both got fierce headaches, so we had to turn away. When we went again, the place got sealed off by a rock slide. A sandstorm had done our job for us. Seemed pretty lucky at the time. I reckon Larry might know a thing or two about it, since his pa was the leader back then. Yes, I know that place well. We have many nests. The location you mentioned is our headquarters. I'm not sure. We never had such an issue. You sure you don't got some old world gadget in there that's emitting brain rays? Now that you mention it, there is a machine that's producing a constant ping sound in our HQ. It never bothered us, so we let it be. Yes, it's a place we call 
the Giegler main office. <laughs> Legend says the first employee took the holy book from there. But ah, uh, that's just what the elders say. No one's sure. Zena's grandfather used to be the keeper of that place. Algae incubators. Ah, I have an algae sample right here. Have you ever seen this before? Oh. Oh! You mean the meal machine? These are delicious. And yes, they have a variety of offerings. <laughs> That's it. Oh, fantastic oh, they're so cute. But if there's such a machine, how do we disable it? Maybe we need to talk with Director Chi as well? No problem. I'll go talk with him. Hmm. You know, ruling human, if you don't mind, I can just go disable it. If there are other Giegelers inside, I'll tell them you're friends, so they won't attack you when you enter. Thanks, Larry. But you sure doing this won't get you fired? Even though I know it's a joke, law human, that's still rude. <laughs> I love Sorry. Larry. Will you be able to do that for us, Larry? It might be dangerous. Worry not, ruling human. I've come to like this town. And I want to do my part in times of need. That's very kind oh, of you. Larry. Thank you. Now we just need an exploration party to go in and pick up the algae samples. Justice? Mayor, I'll go. The Civil Corps still looking for any Duvos leftovers. Just can't risk sending the Sheriff on every unplanned errand. How about me, Larry, and the Professor? Oh, we're taking the Professor with us. You sound a lot like your Paul right now. Oh, my little heart. Um, the Professor has been overworking too much lately. I'll go instead. I know what to look for, and I've taken defense classes, so I won't slow you down. Fine by me. What do you say, Trudes? Sounds like a plan, then. But what about the rocks blocking the way? Um, me? I don't understand. Can't we just climb the rock walls? Isn't that easier? Uh, don't know about you, but we weren't designed that way. Whoa. <laughs> I reckon we'll need that drilling robot to break it down. Normal pick hammer ain't gonna I cut. I love it. Larry. You think you can handle that? You'll need it. Once the builder has the robot, let's meet up at the rock slide. Uh, come prepared. Larry hasn't been there in a while, so who knows what we'll be facing. You got it. Then it's decided. Thank you, everyone, for coming today. <laughs> I hope we get some results soon. <laughs> I love Larry. He's so cute. Thank you, Larry. You're beautiful. Don't ever change. Mm. See you around. Quest for the Pensia. <laughs> Okay, so I have to go to a tree. I have to go to a lab. I have to talk to the director, do some more daily quests. So many things. Oh, what's this? I'm so close. Director! This meeting sounded like fun. Even though I'm not that interested in the botanical sciences, it'd still be delightful to catch up on the newest discoveries once in a while, especially from one of his premier researchers. Oh my god, please. Anyway, so you need the mobile suit? Hmm. Unfortunately, it's not in an operational state at the moment. The falls on Heidi's team really did a number to it. Not to worry, though. I know Sleepyhead gave me a diagram of the drill before, but where did I put it? No matter, I'll be sure to find it in the center drawer, though. All right, so tomorrow we're going to do, ooh, what's this, what's this, what's this? <gasps> Jean, what do you want? Oh, the builder. Just the person I was looking for. Okay. I've been experimenting with different ways of bringing theater to the classroom, and the students have been surprisingly receptive to it. It's really helped them dive into the topic and really look for meaning. So I thought I'd organize a sort of model-free cities activity. It's kind of a way to get them to understand how politics work as well as a way to get them to understand and empathize with local issues. I mean, these little guys are the future, right? 
So, my idea is that everyone will play the role as mayor and have a little election, giving their opinions on Sandrock's future. What do you think? <laughs> well, when we get started, I'll find a role for you. Right. Uh, for now, I need to do a few home visits to the parents, uh, see if they want to take part and see quite how amazing their children are. Oh, I also want to see if the children have their own ideas, too. I'm trying to make sure they're all involved. Hey, here's an idea. How about you join me? You're like the most popular person in town. With your help, oh I God, think you can quest. welcome the idea with open arms. Let's head to Logan and Andy's place. I already asked Trudy and Jasmine on the way here, and I'm thrilled to say they're on board. Oh good, because this is how I wanted to spend my day. Andy, I gotta run. Bounty to take care of. Stay home and do your homework, alright? You got it. Ain't no problem. My homework is history. Well, math, but... Oh, sorry. Is this a bad time? We can come back. Jane, nah, ain't a problem. I can make some time for Andy's future. Come on in. Well, thank you. Actually, we're here to talk about a model free city. Well, that sounds like a heck of an idea. If it helps Andy learn, I'm all for it. Thank you so much. Andy, uh, do you have any ideas you want to add? That's crazy. I was just thinking the other day, dang, if I were mayor, I'd turn this whole town into a theme park. Why ain't there a big slide going from my house to the blue moon? <laughs> Sounds like you better write it down and tell everyone all about it, Andy. Oh, I've been meaning to ask you. We owe any fees lately? Andy said he needed a hundred gold for textbooks and the like. I wanted to know when we gotta pay again. Would you look at the time? I ain't done the dishes yet, and there's <laughs> all that homework. Hold on. You ain't going nowhere. We, uh, never asked for any fees. The school is free for every student. Uh, I can explain. You little... <clears throat> uh, Jane, uh, I reckon it's best you two head off now. Andy's, uh, got about a million years of chores to get through now. Oh, would you look at the time? I think it'd be best if we go, then. <laughs> Cute. Bandit dad. I've always found Logan a tad intimidating, but I didn't expect him to be so caring. Yeah, you can tell he really cares about Andy's future. It's I wonder if you don't really. date him if she dates him. All right, let's head to Pebble's house next. I feel like I should do a run where I just don't Did date you anyone. Coco? Imported is so oh, much better. Atara makes the healthiest formula. I can't recommend it enough. I can't tell the difference. Come on, you have to pay attention to these things. First, you're buying local formula, then you're feeding them food from the blue moon. Oh, what's next? Cactus pacifiers? It worked for me and Rocky, didn't it? <laughs> oh, Bambi! You're here too. I wanted to talk to you about a model free city. Can our Pebbles join in? I know he's small and all, but he's a real thinker, that one. I saw him looking at a book the other day. It was upside down, but he was looking real hard at the words. Good hustle, you know? I want to be mine, too. Of course. When we were doing the story of Peach, Pebbles was the star of the show. Me. Me, Peach. That's great, Peach. In that case, I'm definitely on board. I love your whole singing and dancing thing, don't get me wrong. Heck, I've been in the church choir since I could talk. But, uh, in my day, we had, you know, books and stuff. I'm just a bit worried it's not academic enough. The builder is right. What I do is cover the same content as the textbooks, 
but put it in a form that is more understandable, more enjoyable, and easier to relate to. I think I understand. Well, I want to see in practice. I'm sure it'll click. Then maybe my daughter can join in the future. Of course. I wouldn't have it any other way. I can't wait to see how your little one performs. I'm sure they'll steal the spotlight. Dan B. <laughs> Thanks for coming with me. It got a little awkward back there, but I'm glad you were by my side. I feel way more at ease. Seems like everything went well, though. So I'd better get back and start preparing. It's going to be quite a job. But if there's anything I need help with, I know the Three Cities Superstar Builder just lives down the road. Of course, because I'm awesome. <laughs> Alright, alright. We have so many questions to do. So many quests. Okay, so I need to make a yak moth station. The rare selfie stream. I meant to stream this weekend, but I was so eeky. How you doing, bun? I'm good. I'm playing some sand rock, being <sighs> dandy. I don't know if you already have this, but here, have a chair. Thanks, Rian. <laughs> Ooh, what you reading? Trying to make a Yachnel station. Ba da ba da ba da ba 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 da 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 da. Yachnel, Yachnel. There we go. And then we'll go pick up some questies off my magic board. Ooh, golden. Uh, we got that. I got that. Wait, tea. Tea leaves. I need stuffed mushrooms. And then we're gonna add the cooking station to the here. I need two copper pots and a frying pan. Oh, okay. Uh, I believe the frying pan comes from this machine over here. I'm glad to hear you're doing all right. That makes me really happy. What? Are you okay, Robo Lady? Are you okay? Thank you so much for all your hard work. I don't have anything to give you. That was the sad little voice line. <laughs> but yeah, I'm doing great. I'm just hanging out, doing some sand rock stuff. Suffering from art block, crying profusely. You know, the use. <laughs> oh, she went in. Okay, uh, let's grab Merle and do a little run around. You run around, I run around. We're all gonna run, run, run around. God, what was that from? The Digimon? I want to say the Digimon. That's one of the, like, the songs that played in the middle of it. Mabel, hello. Ooh. And hmm. Sweet potato pie. Anything for you, Mabel, darling. And then, oh, and some meat. Straw, whatever. Don't get hit by the train. Don't get hit by the train. <laughs> oh no, I'm reconnecting to chat. Am I broken again? I'm broken again. I'm always broken. Insert joke here. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, 
I hope y'all are having a lovely day. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. It means so much to me. Queen Barton complete. Is she doing it? I'm so proud of her. Okay. So we're gonna quickly go dump this off on way. And then we're gonna head up the mountain. Oh yeah, I couldn't make the item for way. <laughs> Glad to hear you're doing all right. Yeah, same to you. Sunhaven's getting an update soon, so I'm kind of excited about that. Here you go. Mm. Thank you. No problem, my dude. I'm helpful. <laughs> Marley Merle, hello. Oh, okay. Oh, we were missing more items. Soup. Soup. Add to you. Wait, what? Okay, good. He only wanted one. I got scared for a second thinking he wanted extra, and I'm like, no, sir, please. I do need to make some more cast iron rods, though. So, do 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 And some petrified wood boards. Do 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 Should in theory be good, but I'm not sure. But we will start processing a singular nano tube. Ah, and for the recycling, we'll go over here and look for the nano waste. Nano waste. Add to queue. Oh, we don't have any nano waste. I thought I picked them up, but I guess not. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, what are you rating today? Are you doing dogs? Are you getting a different amount? Or are you actually like rating current content?
All right, let's go. <laughs> we have so many things to turn in and then run so far. Oh, is everyone up at the churchy area? <laughs> Thank you for the head pats, pastry. Head pats, head pats. Simply a head pats noggin. Yeah. <laughs> Request for it. Wow. Thank you. No problem, bro. Hmm. And have a pencil holder. Thanks. It's no problem, bro. What? <laughs> Cause you deserve it. Oh thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Merle, Merle, where'd you go? Oh, he just went in. <laughs> of course he did. Level up, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, so we're gonna take the train over here and then we're gonna run up the mountain real fast <laughs> and install things. Hopefully you get there in time. Ooh, I'm so excited. I made a beef stew this weekend. It was super tasty. Ooh, I also uh, finished building my greenhouse. I had to uh, finagle it a bit because <laughs> they sent me the wrong one. Well, um, I didn't notice until I got home that it was the wrong one. They gave me the bigger one, uh, but they didn't change the price. So, you know, <laughs> I had to get creative. My balcony is not very big. Oh! Is rainbowing double rainbow? Double rainbow. Thank you, Sandrock. <laughs> I believe in the Gilnea's uh, PvP map, there's also a double rainbow. Pretty sure there's an achievement for it, too, if I recall correctly. The trees. It's beautiful in its own way, isn't it? I always knew there was something special about it. Just couldn't quite put my finger on it. So, what's the plan? We simply extract a small sample from the core of the tree. We can safely count the rings without harming them. Oh, right. Good to know. I mean, it's not every day you need to find the age of a tree, but I always thought you had to cut them down and count the rings to know for sure. Nope. You can also get a pretty good estimate just from the circumference, if you compare it to the trunk of the same species. A fallen one nearby usually does the trick. But, given that this one might have survived in the Age of Darkness, it probably didn't have a chance to grow the way it should have. Some of its rings will be super small. Which is why we need to take this sample and... Yes, there's no mistaking it. It is indeed exactly as I <laughs> hypothesized. Hey, you made it! This tree is the other main thing we wanted to check out while we were in Sandrock. To locals, I believe it's known as the Mountain Widow. Way back when people first started settling in Sandrock, there were two of them up here. But now, this jagged-looking tree stands lonesome atop Mount Roxanne, looking down mournfully 
waiting for one who shall never return as the eternal wait slowly saps its life away. Ooh, it's the mountain <laughs> widow. <laughs> Thank you, you for the kind words. It's haunted by the ghost of uh Portal? Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have gone there. Thank you for the hydrate, my dear. Elis Euphratica, a species now found all throughout the Euthala. Every tree resembling this one you see. In layman's terms, this one, this is their mother. Um, so she really is a widow? I didn't know trees could be mothers. Indeed. This species produces trees with male or female flowers. When pollinated, the female trees produce seeds. Its male counterpart likely was that other tree you spoke of, based on the location of it. Which, if I'm right, makes this tree the last of its species from the old world. What? So, you mean the Mountain Widow survived the Age of Darkness? I believe so. By some miracle, the two poplars survived the calamity, as well as 300 years of darkness. This symbol confirms this one's age, and my theories. Subsisting atop this mountain, reaching up at the dullest of sunlight, they were just only able to cling on to life long enough. When Peach parted the skies, they were revitalized, and shortly after, this mother tree dispersed her seeds into these windy heights before become the basis for the forest around Martel's oasis. Hence, Sandra. Wow, I've never heard anything like that before. That's because I've just discovered it. Congratulations, Dr. Lua. I smell publishing and awards. Well, let's not get too <laughs> far ahead of ourselves. I still need to get back to the lab and compare their genetic material, but to me, seeing this, my theory is all but confirmed. Nice! What a privilege to witness such a discovery in real time. Thanks for inviting us, Mia. My only regret is this tree was doing well until just 50 years ago. The Relic Rush has, in the end, Wiley claimed this particular relic too, it seems. Wow. It's been just here on the horizon and nobody knew. I'll bet the people of the Relic Rush never knew either. Hmm. Unlikely they had any clue as to its significance. Yep. Might very well have been the last known old world tree in the whole of the Uthala. And now? Yeah. It has lived for a long time. And now? Is holding on by a thread. To think. Everything this tree has seen. The rise and fall of civilization. The hope of Peach. The fall of Sandrock. Which will soon be continued by the rise of Sandrock. One can hope. Do you think... If we can make Sandrock green again, she could make a comeback? Not a chance, I'm afraid. Even under the most optimal circumstances, this tree will be consumed by fungus and pests long before our plans even begin to come to fruition. Sorry if this is a dumb question, but can't we just water it? Fertilize it? The soil up here is a hundred years away from being able to support a tree of this size. It's impossible. I see. I guess this is hello and goodbye then, Miss Mountain Widow. Hmm. The Mountain Widow wasn't waiting for anyone. It was just carrying on without her husband, watching its children thrive until hmm, seeing the forest disappear was too much for her to bear. Oh, my little heart. Poor doesn't tree. Seem like calling it the Mountain Widow, knowing that it doesn't. How about Mama Tree, mother to all the poplar trees in Uthala? I like that better. I'll abstain from this and continue referring to it as what it is. The progenitor of the populous Euphratica. I think we need something catchier. Regardless of your decision, I believe I have what I need. Shall we return to town? Well, wait a sec, Professor. I remember from your nutrition class that as long as the roots are drinking, there's a chance. And 
You said yourself that Zeke's algae discoveries were changing soil faster than ever before. Yes. Perhaps impossible was a bit of an overstatement. I suppose if we were to divert all our efforts towards this tree, there may yet be a time to discover what this old world tree eats, if anything different at all. From there, a stable nutrient supply, meticulous care, consistent monitoring of its condition, it is theoretically possible. Nice! So what's the first step? However... Our time here is limited, Mia. We came to assist Samrock in their efforts to reforest the desert. And then we must return to Highwind to continue our research there. Uh, don't you want to save this tree, Professor? It's a piece of history. I do. And we <laughs> will try. There is time. But saving our future is more important than preserving our past. You're right. Hmm. Shall we? Yeah. Let's go. Mama tree, you did it! The little tree. <laughs> My little squishy wishy heart. We're gonna take it from here. Your family is gonna make it, I promise. Oh. You rest easy. Maybe I should look that up. One whole ass to the second. Oh, I hear a sound and I don't know what it is yet. Oh, I'll, I'll GS, Speedy, thank you so much for the follow and welcome to the Cozy Crew. Have a wave. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Aw, poor Mian. <laughs> Catch you later. It's okay, Mian. I got you. My squishy little heart can't take it either. <laughs> Mia, thank you, thank you. I am Zafi. I am a cozy cat. I play a variety of games, but my vibes are super chill. So, you know, come hang out with us as we cozy vibe and relax. <laughs> I am currently achievement hunting in my time at Sandrock. Probably one of my favorite games going forward so far. Along with, you know, Stardew Valley. <laughs> yes, admire my sundial. <laughs> Zoop. What do I have her doing again? Yo, I have planting plans. Oh, I could do that. That's cool. Okay. But, well, there, oh, there we go. Uh, huh. What does she assign to? Clear machine rooms, collect things, seed worms. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I wish I could, oh, I wonder if I can assign my husband oh, to do that. That'd be helpful. Yes, madam. Water depleted. My apologies. Okay, I fucked up my placement on that one. There we 
go roll. Water almost. I mean, I guess I should probably just swap to my greenhouse since I'm currently rolling in um, chestnuts and cherries. <laughs> Maybe, maybe, maybe. <gasps> maybe what? Maybe, maybe, maybe. Oh, yeah, maybe I should. <laughs> oh, okay. Empty box, empty box, empty box. There we go. <laughs> uh, let's find a gift for Jane today. Definitely not chat log one or two. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, those are high speed processors, those are just regular processors. I was, I was a little confused. Eagle flute. Someone likes the eagle flute. But I don't remember who. Control log. Chat log. Agriculture, how it's journal, email. Okay. <laughs> I have finished all my quests for today, so let's go to bed. <laughs> That music box, it sounds so nice. <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> oh, look at all that. <laughs> oh, I had a music box once. It was so pretty. Oh, loading. loading. Hey, you got some time? Maybe we can head out and take Rambo for a ride. Soak in the sights. <gasps> Is it daytime with Logan? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> uh, great. Uh, let me go get Rambo. A bumpy date. This is why, like, the Sandrock <gasps> social system is so good. Hold on tight. <laughs> Come on, Rambo. Faster. Yeah, Rambo. Yeah. Rambo. Oh my god. Did they really time that? <laughs> time that? Oh no. Oh, were you hurt when we fell? <laughs> a time, time, a time uh, action event. There we go. Time to action event. Uh, let's rest for a while. I'll <laughs> cook up something to eat. I love the goat. <laughs> Oh no, you shouldn't cook. You're bad at it, sir. Quick time event. Thank you. I, I was I'm having a whole brain fart today. I'm like Good place to take a break. A whole it's idiot sandwich. So beautiful. Serene. Just sitting here. I don't think they thought about the sitting when they sit made my still. dress. Ow. Kestrel's being mean today. Here. Oh no. <laughs> Have you ever thought about our future? <laughs> or should I ask him about work, guys? Work or our future? <laughs> our future? Uh, I've given it some thought. I, I know you're real busy with your work, Shine. I don't want you to be overworked, so 
I'm gonna help you out however I can. I'll take more bounties and earn a little more money. You can just take commissions at your own pace. Oh, what a sweet angel. <laughs> at night, I'll stop by the blue moon. Uh, bring us back a few dishes and some uh, yakmail milk. <laughs> yeah, maybe I'm uh, thinking too much, but when I picture it, well, of course, your dreams are important too. <laughs> right? Oh my god. <laughs> I ain't never been much of a talker, but when I'm with you, I feel at ease. Like I ain't gotta be on edge no more. Uh, yeah, uh, but we can take this slow too. We got all the time in the world. It's going good. Mainly keeping monsters in the desert, making sure they ain't coming close to Sand Rock. You should uh, come with me sometime. Uh, we can explore the desert. Have the world to yourself. <laughs> sweetie mode. Like, my friend Katori is also like a really big Logan fan. And she has a Logan My Love redeem. And I, I, I haven't been able to use it because she's never playing My Time at Sand Rock. <laughs> I'll have to do it's it when we collab next. About anything. Just going into whatever danger facing me. Now, I know I gotta be careful. I ain't gonna <laughs> sacrifice our future together. Haru wrote to me. It seems Aww. like he's doing well. Settled in real good. I uh, told him about our relationship. I reckon he's gonna be real happy for us. Andy knows, and, and he's real happy as well. He says the gang just got ten times more notorious. Oh, little Andy is so nice. <laughs> He's got an imagination, that boy. Uh, finished eating? Uh, you want something else? Something to drink? Well, if you like it here, we can come back any time. It's a secret. I ain't brought no one else over here before. Are, are we sitting on a giant skeleton? Tell me we're sitting on a All giant right. skeleton. All uh, right, let's head on back. I'll pack everything <laughs> up. We're sitting in a giant skeleton, guys. Here we are. Home sweet home. I had a really good time today. Thanks for coming and spending the day with me. Let's uh do it again soon. <laughs> RVO's inside Jane. <laughs> I'll see you later. <laughs> RVO. Oh, I got really excited. I saw I had a Discord notification from one of the developer, like one of the game Discords I'm in, and I got super excited. But I haven't looked yet. Let's look. Ooh. Oh, announcement, announcement. If this is the, like a meet ye devs again, I will fight someone. They always tag for the most stupid things. <laughs> I know it's not stupid and I should care, but I'm just like, I, I just want game, no, uh, like, game information. Hey, sorry I haven't written to you in ages. I've been so busy. I can't get into specifics, but whenever, whenever I get home, I just fall into my bed and pass out. I wish I had a break, but hey, enough about me. How's Sandrock treating you? No updates on getting back to Sandrock yet. Um, are you sure you're okay? I feel like you're tre uh, trying to sugarcoat it. Do you have any good friends you can rely on in Antara? You'll never let anything get the best of her. Yeah, let's go with that one. Let's just talk her up. Not dumb. Completely valid. Thank you. <laughs> I just want game updates, please. Uh, good teachers are important for Mia. Thank you, Mia. <laughs> for a picture frame, I swear I won't use it for evil like my original has. Um, so my time at Sandrock is great because, um, <laughs> let's just quickly do this. Um, you could put picture frames on the wall and obviously you can, um, put whatever picture you want in them. If I can find a free space. Oh my gosh, I have absolutely no wall space. Here we go. Okay, so you can replace the photo with uh, story photos. <laughs> or like event stuff. <laughs> so my house is just like 
pictures of my knife fights with Logan. <laughs> because I am a horrible speech dad. So when we got married, I forgot they were on the wall. <laughs> uh, that seems easy. That seems easy. That's definitely doable. Not as much money. And let's get some rep with Dandy. Not her favorite. Not my favorite person, but you know. Now where's my drill? I wonder if it's a crafty craft. It is. You give me the power drill. Yeah, let's go. But yeah. <laughs> uh, one more upgrade. That's right. <laughs> uh, okay. So Rocky's over there. We have a town square thing. Meet the Portia. Uh, let's quickly just top off our water because she keeps telling me it's depleted. And then oops. we'll do this. <laughs> but yeah, uh, so I've muted the, the notifications from their meet the dev section of Discord like 20 times, but it keeps overriding my like my mute on it, which is super annoying. So I see a notification from that Discord and I get super excited because the game is really good. And it just disappears. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's like other Discords. Um, so Project Me recently did a Canadian test. Um, well, a, a general test, but they really wanted Canadian people to test it out. And I had no idea about it until like it was two hours before it was done. And I've been dying to play it. I have a phone that can handle it now. I have a computer. And I actually have the stuff enabled so I can like do the stuff, uh, play the game. But no, I didn't know about it. <laughs> Honestly, their Discord looks kind of dead. And it makes me a little sad because I want Project Me. <laughs> Sorry, right, give me more money. <laughs> okay, so the initial uh, commission was only for um, 1,000 goals, but I just boosted it to 3,000 because of my, um, my ad in the newspaper, as well as the fact that I upped the quality. Hello, Nia Nia Nia. Mm. Ball's rolling now, huh? When I first wrote you, it sounded like Sandrock was down and out. And now look at this. It's got uh, this more modern uh, water setup than high wind, I'd say. Oh, here it is. Do this again. We can't wait go 10 minutes without pushing an opposing faction to the brink of the world war. If I had a goal for every time they attacked us beyond our border, I'd have two goals. That's mighty peculiar <laughs> that it's happened twice. Oh, well, if you keep letting me read it to you, you know that it was a rogue agent, and they're calling him the Rogue mm -hmm. Knight. Rogue Knight? What does that mean? Acting by his lonesome? If and ya believe that, I've got a bridge to sell uh. ya. I'm sorry, I hate to interject, Cooper. But just so we're clear, you do not own Sean Ashbridge. Howdy. <laughs> Thank you, Doofus Schwartz. <laughs> hey, Zelfie, looks like Dubas is up to no mm. good. But it's all been handled over at Portia. They beat up a Dubas agent and some Sky Pirates defending a recently discovered All Source. Wow! Mm. The first ever found. Who knows what kind of amazing things they can learn from it. One of the most powerful AIs ever created. But now they've got, they've knocked some sense into it, <laughs> that is. Mm. They throw a whole army at us and they just send one guy and a couple of pirates out to portions. I see how it is. Oh. I think that's the point, man. 
If it was just a few bad go guys, they got him, right? Uh, no. Hmm. The rogue knight's plan to steal the all source was foiled, but he did manage to escape in all the confusion. Uh. Dang, big dimma dang. Uh -huh. Great, one more maniac on the loose. Better check under your bed than right night. I, for one, will be investing in tripwires and anti-personal devices. Under <laughs> oh my goodness. Um. Wait. What's this part? The Porsche spool is used as a projectile weapon? Just what exactly are you mm -hmm. dealing with? <laughs> Have you ever been so mad you threw a spool? Mm. Hey now, don't get any ideas. A canary. <laughs> um, he didn't throw a spool. He was able to manipulate the all source into wall. Somehow he made it into a weapon. People are doing stuff like that. Hmm. Cool. Less cool, but good, I guess. Mm. Porsche civil core as well. From what I'm hearing, a brave builder stepped up and and defeated the frenzy all source. So there's nothing really wrong at this point. Mm. <laughs> Nobody's asking real questions. All you ever hear is how is safe. You never make sure to check up on your friends, y'all. Uh. I'm not sure I quite understand this line of questioning, but. I assure you, these days the Alliance defenses are tight as a drum. Someone like that acting independently is no threat to us. But what about Porsche? Are they alright? Thankfully, no one was severely injured. They're just in need of a lot of building to get their town back in shape. Those Porsche builders must be up to their eyeballs in commission. I could send over stuff that can oh. help. Really? Well, that'd be amazing. I'm sure they'd appreciate it. I'll get, I'll get on the telegraph today and forward any information hmm. to your mailbox. That's our builder. Wow. <laughs> Don't do it for free. Them portions are loaded. Don't let them fool you with this charity act. Um. It's for a good cause. Mm -hmm. We're a good cause too, ain't we? Uh-huh. Well, y'all do what you want, but be forewarned. <laughs> hmm. Sounds like all sorts of zoning violations. Mm -hmm. Now I know. I know City Hall ain't about to tell me what I can and can't do on my property. Uh. Cooper, I'm sure there's a way we can come to a mutual agreement uh. on this. I think that's our cue. Good luck, daughter of yours. Thank you. Thanks, Pa. Alright. Oh, my, my quest is getting away. I don't know who it is. I just know I need to throw things at them. Get back here! Accept my items, dandy. Hello? Thanks. Seeing this amazing oasis, Alfie, I just want to thank you for doing so much for this town. I think without your hard work, me and Riri would not be uh, here to witness it. Thank you. <laughs> My quest is getting away. That, I love items. That's a weird thing to call your... Dandy is not my romantic interest. Logan's my romantic interest. <laughs> Alright, so... That's all the turn-ins. So now we just go empty our pockets and head to Logan. You know, after equipping our bar with um, healing items. <laughs> I'm just gonna make sure there isn't an extra like yak mall state. You know what, I'm gonna make one. I'm pretty sure one goes over there at some point. Zoot. Oh, what's this? Mail. Tumbleweed standard telling us about okay so our issue with Duvos happens before the my time at Porsche issue with Duvos and the Sky Pirates which is really cool I like how the two games like I don't know mix I guess or like affect each other because we're also building the uh, tunnel to Porsche which also happened on but we also see the sand rock side of it um, so I think that's pretty cool I also think you guys are pretty cool. <laughs> uh, sorry, <laughs> I got some weird ass energy today. Alright, are you done building? Are you? Are you? Mm -hmm. Come on. Let's go! To the double rainbow. Alright, so this has become a little tiny river. You know, because we found the water generator. 
I really wish I could clean up all the stuff on this path. <laughs> it drives me absolutely crazy. And now we have a normal bridge up there, but this is not so normal. <laughs> We're going on an adventure. <laughs> All right, where are my healy dealies? Healy dealy. Um, so this one. Bam. <laughs> Done with the drill? Nice. Barry's already gone ahead to turn off the machine. Can you clear the path with the drill? I'll go fetch the assistant. Okay, so I give him a lot of weapons. It would be nice if like I could see his weapons upgrade. I think that'd be really cool. <laughs> All right, let's get drilling. Here I stand for the next 10 minutes as I slowly pick away at this wall. You know, in the multiplayer version, we break this with a pit bull. We break stuff relatively big with our pickaxe. <laughs> wow, did you break all the boulders here? I'm way impressed. Nice. Ruin is just a little up ahead. Ready to roll out? The headaches started a little beyond this point. But if Larry's done his job, it should be smooth sailing. Here we go. All right, let's do this. Um, yeah, so I'm pretty... Looks like Larry pulled it off. Come on. Am I going to stop and gather a bunch of shit? You better believe it. <laughs> Larry was supposed to have met us here. You don't suppose something happened to him, do you? I have a bad feeling about this. Let's see if there's a way in. Look, there's a bunch of pipes over there. I reckon that's our ticket inside. Oh, it's it's not giving me free will. <laughs> it's okay. I I, I didn't want to just go exploring. <laughs> Everyone, careful now. Nice and slow. Larry? Larry! We've got to try something. Alright, let's go. Uh, so this is a story-based dungeon, so I can do all the gathering I want. <laughs> Actually, don't know... Stay away. Wasn't that last voice Larry? Yeah, and he said Xena. That was his wife's name, wasn't it? Well, at least we know why Larry didn't show up. <gasps> Space Rain, hello, Anyhow, my favorite Froji. How's it go going? Save Larry's hide. Let's see where this road leads us. <laughs> Oh, I don't have a smile to talk all big sad. Okay, okay, so we're just gonna quickly zoop around and try and gather all the materials. I know we're saving Larry, but um, I missed a few things in my last playthrough, so I figured I should probably do it right this time. <laughs> also, free nano material. <laughs> Some nano tubes. How's it going, Sage? I hope you're having a lovely day, my dear. I am uh, trapped on my my time at Sandrock grind. <laughs> I'm doing my Stardew Valley one on the side, like off stream, because 
I have a whole spreadsheet for that. Uh, <laughs> huh? Odd weather, all things considered. Well, it's fake. Clouds like that wouldn't just appear out of nowhere in Sandrock. It's gotta be simulated weather. Perhaps needed for some of the experiments they were doing? <laughs> wouldn't rule that out. No, wasn't this place meant to be deep in the ocean? Yeah, maybe it was for folks living here, in case they missed being up on the surface. Ah, so many times these things remain a mystery. Let's press on. The whole fake sky dark room thing is giving me the creeps. Up yonder. That door looks as promising oh, as that. Yonder. Let's check it. it out. Oh no, it's the little Unga Bunga Patrick guys. A super starvey. Simple wire, noink noink. Am I gathering random materials? Yes. I am. Oh, he's riding a little a gooby. I love it. Okay, this game just takes a Ooh. phone the form. Please input the uh, butt face. Please input your profession. Murder for hire, corporate espionage enthusiast, system analyst. Not just visiting to see a family member to steal your algae to burn this place to the ground. <laughs> Thank you for completing it. Please take this complimentary Giggle leaflet. Whoa, what did you do? What is that? Giggle Co. official leaflet? Nice! This counts as rare literature. All you did was fill in the form on the console? Cool, let me get one too. <laughs> mm hmm. Says there are none left. Uh, really? Well, you can have it back whenever you need. I'll just keep it safe for now. Thanks. What a lovely souvenir to remember my first Sandrock adventure by. She took my leaflet. I'm too nice. <laughs> Ooh, sand coral. It's a pastry rabbit. And a little goopy frog. Break sand coral. Whoa, this thing's huge. <laughs> Thank you for the head pat and the heart heart. I need to work on my D and D on D and D, but my brain is just not here today. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that, my dear. I hope you can. I hope you manage to do the thing. Thank you for the heart heart and the head pat. I hope you're having a great day, Halsey. What's up? It's got a switch on it. My experience diving has taught me just to flip any switches I see and hope for the best. What's your take? Hmm. You don't suppose it could also have something to do with that weather simulation <laughs> thing, do you? Just flip the switches, Logan. I like your thinking. I didn't well, get a lot of sleep, so I'm feeling on energy drinks and spite. Oh no! Spite to kill my friends in D&D. I love that. That is exactly what needs to fuel people for D&D. <laughs> Click. Power restoration sequence activated. Power restoration That did the trick. Some of the lights just went on. I'm glad to hear. I'm doing Another great. I just saw um, Ranch Sim cute. was on sale, so I figured I'd ask you about it if you'd still recommend it. I get it, story people, but I have to gather. I am gather cat. Collector of doodads. Am I <laughs> collector of doodads? Yep, that's me. <laughs> We're in their little nest. So these places. scientists live like students. Cables on the ground. It could lead to something. A childlike drawing that appears to depict some kind of lizard creature standing upright. Even the simplest images, you notice the figure isn't exactly like the modern Giggles. There's a signature, uh, signature on the bottom, just the letter K. Lizards spawn from batch uh, 0415. Have hatched successfully. Our latest batch of junior scientists, however, I have assigned some of them to conduct basic uh, ins 
inspection, inspection, sorry, there was a space. From here on out, already they have begun displaying incompetence. They defy protocols and have even given these lizard names Kiki, Coco, Bob, Asinine. Furthermore, dangerous. Establishing a personal collection, a connection to our, unex our own experiences is a, a disaster waiting to happen. Jimmy. Damn, Jimmy. I'm good. Fun. Plus, it's nice for collabing with people. Ooh, thank you, thank you. I've been looking for a cozy game that has like a decent amount of co uh, content. Power because um, my friends and I kind of absolutely destroyed my time at Stardew Valley. <laughs> So I'm just kind of like looking for something new. That's where we came in. Oh, it's a giggler. It's a lot of giggler. The PR officer. Oh no. Oh, the poor intern. He has so much to carry. <laughs> I'll defeat you, PR. <laughs> Alright, now we look for doodads and then we press the button. <laughs> A device that can resist the interference from infrared sound waves is to be worn on the hat at your has been inoperable for a long time. through the pages each one is exactly the same this jimmy person clocked in the lab every single night without fail damn jimmy is such a hard worker <laughs> how are you guys doing good luck space i hope you're like spike killing us well in D. &D. ah okay more boxes Uh, today, Kiki drew a picture for us. Truly fascinating. I think I will remove Kiki from mutation trials and just see how her, de her development progresses naturally. Her mental capacities are accelerating rapidly. She reminds me a little of Okasha. If only she had survived. Damn. Jimmy, my dude. You're a monster. And power. Doop. Power Thank you for the hat pad. A lot of plants, huh? Power yeah. restoration status. 100. This kind of life couldn't exist like this without something special going on. So this has got to be the right place. Exactly. <laughs> oh, I love the little head pad froggy. Oh my gosh. This is so cute. Okay, we've been in this door. We've been in that one. That's the start. All right. Oh. <laughs> System. Welcome the to the Evo. Whoa, awesome. <laughs> this your first time down in one of these? Show's only just getting started. Is that so? Well, I'm looking forward to the next act then. Yeah, well, Path's clear. That's what you're gonna get. Oh no, I don't think Nia and Logan are getting along very well. And down we go. I have like all the absolute cutie pies in my chat today. I got pastry, I got hell sight, I've got spaces, all my cutie pies. <laughs> Thank you for visiting me today. Ooh, I'm so excited. Tomorrow I'm going to be playing uh, content uh, warning with 
unleashed Neptunia or Nep Neptunity and someone else. So that's gonna be fun. Casually leaves. Well, you were you were a jerk earlier, so I'm gonna leave you out, Kestro. Ha. Hey, let's stop here for a sec. Take a breather. Besides, I think it might be about time to talk about the elephant in the room. Oh yeah, <laughs> I reckon you're thinking the same thing. Larry lost all that weight, but it just doesn't look good. I was more referring to that elephant. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I need a nap. I'm drinking a monster and oh no. Big elephant, that's a big guy, right? Oh, he got a little I drum. See. Well, I stand by what I said. <laughs> Tell us how you really feel. But let's keep our eyes on the prize. Looks like two paths are ahead. Let's check that closed door first. <laughs> hug a big friend. I will try and hug the, the, the giant mammoth it projector. It says two separate codes can bind into a passcode required to open the administrative door. Ah, oh, so close and yet so far. The algae is right behind this door. Does that door look like a giant angry robot frog to you guys or is it just me it's also making angry noises or like a really angry propane tank <laughs> oh, shoot we ain't got a clue it's just me I thought so let's look around maybe it's written somewhere around here Making like the angriest noises. Let's hug the woolly mammoth. Hello. Yeah, no material. Right. Right. <laughs> it looks like a mildly annoyed robo. That was a lot of reading that I just wasn't going to do. <laughs> Ooh, yum, yeah. what kind of tea? Oh, I wanna make an iced chai latte. I might do that. I mean, all I need to do is add milk and ice. <laughs> oh, I, I have that like Tazo chai latte concentrate. I don't, Castrol, whatever the setup is, just do the redeem. Your jokes are funny, my dear. Check it out. <laughs> yes, vanilla soy latte is a three bean soup. <laughs> All right, come back soon, sweet one. Whoa, sweet little gooby frog. a lot of text tube things. Are we getting closer to the algae? Yes. Yes, we are. Oh, poor Kestrel. <laughs> Shot down out. so hard. Oh, have some has hats, Kestrel. Oh, do I really want to jump? I mean, I could jump. Oh, I know there's a little window to stop me from jumping. <laughs> I wasn't even gonna make you exercise. You always set up like that, so I just assumed. Oh, uh -huh, little angry quest wool. Oh no. has been about two and a half hours almost. I think I might do some squats, push up, and then go make myself a ice latte. It'll take me like two seconds. Oh, 
the exploding monsters. <laughs> okay, good, good plan, good plan. We want you, uh, you know, a little sore over my uh, <laughs> burn. What is that? Oh, that's salt. I couldn't tell. <laughs> and, um, I, I don't remember who said it, but cry me a river. No. organisms that basically covers everything <sighs> i've never really put much thought into all that church of light doctrine about how the people of the old world tried to play god but seeing is believing jeez <laughs> i'm getting goosebumps i've heard people talking about it before but you're saying the gigglers the, the rat folks the mole people they're all made here maybe not here here but yeah definitely from some old world lab out there that's true. It's only because of their studies that we've been able to get where we are now. Well, anyhow, <laughs> we got the codes. Let's go. I hope Larry is okay. I am not done exploring yet, but then we'll go rescue Larry. <gasps> I love the hermit crab with the little molten lava bag. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> oh, he got stuck in the fence. Oh, hey. Okay. He doesn't want me parkouring over shit again. Now would be a good time to save. You know what? Let's do that. <laughs> oh wait, I can't save here. You didn't lie to me. Just the hermit crab. Casually just being on fire. It's great. Oh, more box. Oh, where did he come from? Some of this. <laughs> Yoink. Okay, okay, we'll take the elevator and then we'll go do our push ups and our sit ups. Or push ups and our squats. And then we'll get our ice latte. Big fetch. Release the demon. Save the game. <laughs> Leave it on this screen <laughs> so you can see how ugly my outfit is without my outfit on <laughs> you're back
I'm back. Hello. <laughs> How's it going? All I want to do is play Tetris. <laughs> I hope you guys are all having a lovely afternoon. Mutant specimen escaping containment. Emergency protocol active. Oh good, you're extra funny today, aren't you, Castro? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Threat neutralized. <laughs> How's it going? What are you up to, Castro? Right. Oh shit, I didn't even look. I have escaped from containment once again, Mawahahaha. <laughs> Hello, Penguin Shadows. Thank you so much for the sub. How are you doing? Um, leveling up an alt on 14. Oh goodness, you and your alts. Uh, what are you leveling this time? <laughs> oh, Lala. Of course, of course. But, like, what kind of Lala? I made one to look like my goblin paladin in D&D. Nice. Ooh. It's so squiggly and wiggly. Look inside. Who are they? Zena, Zena, baby. Why do you deny me so? <laughs> Small. I Might try for crafting on this one too. Nice. Doing pretty good. Just took some pretty pictures of my Obra. Ooh. You should post it in my Discord. Good you know, if they're safe for work. <laughs> Too long, my dear Zena. Always saying Larry will be back. Too bad for you. I am in control of your destiny. I wish you could trade money and gear between characters. Oh, yeah. You need to look for a middleman. And Larry, he comes back <laughs> a traitor, saying nonsense about the holy book is false, and the humans in Sandrock are not our enemies. Larry, cousin, it's hard to say this. But you're fired. The voice does not fit the body. <laughs> right? Oh. What? A golf ball? You can take away his dignity, but you will always be a better leader than you ever be. You're nothing compared to him. I like his little head curls. Fine. Have it the hard way. I'll have you personally witness the end of my dear cousin for good. In the end, you don't get a choice. You will become mine. <laughs> then, together, we will finally conquer Sandrock. VP, managers, do what you must do. I didn't expect to stumble upon an internal power struggle. Gary, I remember him, but he wasn't always this plump. <laughs> We've got to hurry. All right, let's go. Uh, quickly looking for doodads. Can't go empty handed into a fight. Might get some more shotgun shells. <laughs> what is this? Humans. I'll wash your mouth out, baby. <laughs> I'm sad they didn't put enough uh, put emphasis on the S's because it's a sand rod. Reach for the sky, Gary. Oh no, it's Buzz Lightyear. <laughs> no, Woody. Come and make me, small fry. Oh, it looks like I'm fighting people.
and I love cowboy Buzz Lightyear the cowboy. <laughs> No, it's Lizard Man versus Lizard Man. Oh, he hit himself in the head. He's bad at those. Okay, so Gary used to be the same height as, uh, Larry used to be the same height as Gary. I'm wondering how much, uh, how plump his no feet were. Cause he's, he's very small now, You're right? Not the super algae. He's going to become a whole fucking tree. And you won't get a single penny. Oh, we're not getting our severance pay. <laughs> Am I feeling a little cheaty right now? Just a little bit. Oh, he broke my shield this time. There we go. <laughs> Severance pay in this account. <laughs> Love. Well, good thing we got him when we did. Larry, you all right? I am. Thanks to you all, Zena. I'm fine, husband. The president's wife, Eden, say fragile. Husband, I've been thinking about you every day. That despicable snake, Gary, kidnapped me, and now you're alive. Oh, Larry. <clears throat> so, uh, Nia, we came here on a mission. Oh no, they're kissing. Ah, right. I'm going to take some algae samples. But these machines look well preserved. I think we should salvage some of the core components. Might be useful if we want to cultivate this type of algae on our own. Can you help with the salvaging? Thanks. No problem. I'm just doing my job. I want to break this apart. Nothing to break, nothing to steal. Lizards are happy. Oh, <laughs> it's telling me I need to use my pick hammer. Okay. Zoop. <laughs> oh, um, so the Googler's whole thing is that they're using a company guidebook as their holy book. So they always talk about fired and their interns and PR and stuff. You will not get a dime of severance. <laughs> I love them. And I have a chai latte with ice. Yum yum. Have you finished? Great. Let's get back and show this to the professor and Mr. Zeke. Hopefully, this is what we're looking for. Hey, Larry. You coming? Huh? Oh, hmm. I think I'll stay a while, Yak Boy Human. I Yak have boy to settle human. things with Gary and the company anyway. I'll come back when I'm done. <laughs> All right, suit yourself. You ready to go? Let's go. That is quite some adventure. I'm glad Larry found his wife. Is he arrived? Yeah. He said he'll be back soon. On the other hand, we got a pretty big payday. We found several types of algae. This is wonderful. I hope it wasn't too much trouble for you. I like that I put three of those machines in my pocket. <laughs> it was fine. Nothing too stressful. Yeah, we all got out pretty unscathed. Even better. 
I take it you'll need to experiment a bit on the new algae? That's right. Time to prove our hypothesis. This is so exciting. We'll let you know when we get the results. Good or bad. I look forward to it. Thank you for your hard work. Hey, we did it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, oh, I got a new hat, guys. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wait for it. Let me just quickly turn on the hat. <laughs> I am now, like, some kind of weird Mad Max dinosaur. <laughs> Where did you want me to post them again? Oh, you can post them in silly pictures and things. This, this is precisely why I have my hats hidden. Go back to hiding my outfit and turning off my hat. I like the fact that they, first of all, have a hide hat, and second of all, basically have glamour plates. <laughs> it's, it's good. Oh, it's hot. Hmm. I feel sorry for Larry. I never thought Gary would uh, do him dirty like that. It must have been hard to have to face down your own cousin like that. Glad he's the best though. Well, via Yakmel's uncle. I never thought I'd see the day. Good on you, Selfie. Send my regards to all those who helped make it happen. I'll raise a glass in their names. I don't know what I just did, but yo. Do you like flutes? Oh, thank you. <laughs> you do not like flutes. <laughs> I thought I'd try. Alright. I can rename my my uh thing. But I don't see any invitations to my party. Oh, and I can get the discount dress. Mine's still better. <laughs> Alright, let's look at the cute aura. Ooh, is that armor in the game? Because that looks so cool. It's modded, isn't it? Because those definitely don't feel like actual Final Fantasy clothes. But yeah, well, that looks crazy. Yeah, that's modded. I thought so. There, there was too much skin for it to be Final Fantasy. Hmm. Everything is going according to plan. The Oasis. Be seeing ya. Yeah, you should move hey in. There. Not into my house, but into the city. See ya. <laughs> It looks really cool. I like the pictures. They are good, and so are the outfits. Oh my goodness. Okay, don't let me steal, it's fine. <laughs> I didn't want to steal from you anyways. <laughs> okay. Let's quickly bleep the box, and we're just gonna take a quick second to check um, what achievements we need and how many. <laughs> All right, so we're currently 60, uh, 54 to 60. Yay. I have another one uh, before I completely changed her. Uh, ooh, cute black dress. <laughs> So, uh, let's keep scrolling down until we find something we don't have. Click to, okay, marry a character. Okay, we can do that. At the winter solstice, cook 10 skewers of barbecue. You don't make friends with salad. Uh, Myrtle's dream, change Sandrock's environment to sustain greenery. Ooh. Um, take first place at the showdown at noon. Earn maximum levels in all of the, the skills and host 10 parties. 
Okay, we got this. <laughs> um, let's look over here. Do I have any accessory? Oh, it's the flute. <laughs> we'll just quickly uh, put things away. Administrator notes, administrator notes. Super filtration core, simple wires. This. A motivational hammer, of course, of course. Oh, look at that! Oh, the wrap. <laughs> I really need to make a bigger house at some point. Oh, all the people surrounding my house. Oops, what's this? Logan, we gotta take the initiative when hunting. You taught me that. It ain't the same, Andy. Wait, are they hunting me? There's nothing to. <coughs> Fielder's coming. Fuel depleted, please refill. Mm, take the uh, initiative. Logan's teaching me hunting. Yeah, Andy dragged me out here to teach him. <coughs> uh, yeah, that's right. Andy didn't want to go to school today, and I said he could take the day off, and yeah, I'd teach him something. That is, if you agree as well. Did you call me just for the yeah day off? Told you, I'm gonna go to the game center. Good luck with the hunt, Logan. <laughs> <laughs> they are so cute. I love them. <clears throat> uh, Andy really don't like school, but he's a good kid. He's been spending a lot of time with the uh, director in the research center. Long as he's interested in learning, I'm happy. I don't think school teaches you everything you need. Oh, uh, don't tell him I said that. Speaking of Andy, I don't know what he's been reading lately, but he keeps trying to get me to go on dates with you. <laughs> I mean, how about my GTA? I have a clip of her, though. That word again. I'll share it in the same spot. Okay, yeah. I can't wait to see. You know, since Andy started living with me and Haru, he's uh, been like a little brother to us. Through everything, he's been there. <laughs> he really kept things lively while we were out in the desert. Andy really cares about me, and he's family to me. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, yeah, we're together, so Andy's family to me, too. That's right. We're family, but whatever happens in the future, I won't let anything happen to you or Andy. Well, he's got a protector complex, probably because he can save us that. Well, I uh, better get back to work. I'll uh, see you later, hon. Oh, you're abandoning me already? You've got too much to do in the workshop. Thank you, thank you. Now let's see here. Do I? Oh, I have a motivational hammer. I wonder if he likes that. Quick, to the box. We have to find the right one. Motivational hammer. Gonna give it to my husband though, cause he's got a motivational hammer. Oh, 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 hats. This is the right place. No, it's not. Okay, we're gonna find it. No, 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 no. Hammer, let's go. Logan, get back here. Accept my hammer. Insert joke from a Dr. Horrible sing-along vlog. The hammer is my penis. <laughs> Thanks. 
This is a high quality weapon. I'll need to practice, but it's an extraordinary privilege to have something so fine in the palm of my hand. I feel like there's a joke in there somewhere. <laughs> uh, okay. My sword, my masterpiece is ready to be built. Come and get the diagram. <laughs> uh, apparently their builders might not have the best equipment, so I should build them some stuff. Okay. I felt like giving this to you. Aw, thank you, Andy. I'm an adopted kid. Uh, I cannot thank you enough. Here, make these things and then come to our Model UN. Your masterpiece. <laughs> no you. All right, we're just gonna quickly do a zoop. A gravitational motor. What exactly am I making these people? <laughs> Goodness. Zero. Or gravity motor. If I were a gravity motor, where would I be? Gravity motor, gravity motor, gravity, 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 gravity motor. Abandoned mole cave. Okay. And let's get some other quests. <gasps> Yo. That's three, and let's take one of these. Sugar fried chestnuts. We do need some more um, crystal wrap. Oh, let's just make this shit done. <laughs> ah, took you. Gravity motor, my goodness. You're so demanding. <laughs> okay uh okay so we need to go and do definitely not a ninja sword which will give us a super cool weapon and then we just gotta go turn in a bunch of random crap all right merle let's go oh hello darling uh, I don't have to repay you yet. You're still good, so let's just add to the furnace. Zoop over here, add to the water tank. Actually, we're doing pretty good. Grab Merle. Merle! Hi, Nemo. Submarine, is it time to retire the water cars? Phew. Ah, thank you. I'm more reliable than the Atari Express. That's a pretty good compliment for a train nerd. <laughs> okay. Okay. I have to find out what does the Fenty like? Because I, I don't feel like I've given her enough time. And I kind of just feel like the character as herself just kind of got the shaft. Uh, gift. She likes pickaxes, rocks of the, the valuable kind, and a power drill. Hemp carpet. You know what? Let's get the, let's get the carpet. I mean, I guess I could also make a chromium pickaxe. Is that a crafting table thing? Chromium pickaxe, where are you? Here we go. <laughs> yeah, we definitely didn't give MP enough love. I feel like I have really good standing with like everyone but her. <laughs> Hi, Bungie. Just waiting for a new over. Chromium pick hammer. Wow, thank you so much. <laughs> She's like a really sad character. She'll talk about how she like lived in a garbage heap. So I have a soft spot for her. Hmm. Hmm? Thank you. Anything for you. Yeah, give me all that rap. <laughs> I need the wrap. 
I, I'm really surprised that there isn't like an achievement for Kofi Asamatsura with everyone. Or maybe I already have it. <laughs> Alright, next we're going to do definitely not a Ninja Sword. Actually. Maybe if Amira's outside, we could just like do a a soft fly with her turn it. Oh, it's it's Andre. Hello. Hmm. Eagle brochure. Hmm. I wanna go to the periphery. Oh, I haven't picked up her quest item yet. <laughs> ah, I was uh, studying how Gangnam pilots use the saber. Ooh, she looks so pretty. Oh, I love her butt frill. Who doesn't love a good butt frill? I think I've recorded enough data to last me a while. Excuse me. Thank you. I've managed to successfully repair the sword. Although I doubt it'll reach the potential of an old world version, it is still extremely powerful. Ahem. <clears throat> anyway, since you found it, I think it fitting that you have it. Yeah. Do be very careful, though. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a spaceship to study. I got a cool sword now. <laughs> Alright, let's go take this baby out for a ride. <laughs> um, so, this one has, like, um, very specific. Yeah, I do the whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. <laughs> we'll have to try to run some enemies, of course. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, what do I have down here? What is it? Oh, is it the? It is. It is what I thought it was. Okay, so we'll go home. Pick up Amira's request. Take the Yakmo cart across town to go put down another Yakmo cart. And then, you know, scream incoherently just a little bit. <laughs> go back. Head up to the school. Be the model UN. And then, you know, scream. Ah! I have an ice chai latte and it's super tasty. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> but on a positive note. Okay, so the cutscene with Logan that we just had was not in the game before. <laughs> Actually, the interactions with him and Andy were kind of lacking, so it was very disappointing because, like, in my off-stream playthrough, I adopted Andy, but there was no, like, cutscenes with him. And even in our family dates, he didn't actually play any of the games with us. So I feel like they they worked on improving that, I guess. What is this? This is Sunstone. That is Slate. Might as well do a little gather. I honestly don't remember Slate. <laughs> Give me that bonus. And we're just gonna run around collecting materials before we head back to school. <laughs> we gotta register all the things. Agape. Yum, 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 yum. I 
it reminds me of chickens and hens. I guess agave is also like a, um, what is the word? Succulent? Oh man, there's treasure to be found. Limestone. Nano wave. I'm on top of the of the item, but not near it, I guess. <laughs> oh, sneaky. Okay. Um goodbye pistol. Hello. I can break the boxes. Let's go. Still no cool long, uh, still no cool twin blade, uh, weapons. <laughs> I guess I better start processing this. I mean, we already bought the recipes from the, the bank, uh, from the guild. <laughs> I'd hate to not have everything processed for the quest when it arrives. <laughs> like the absolute monster that I am. <laughs> God, now I want to play Overwatch. I played so much Overwatch this weekend. <laughs> oh no. Play Overwatch then. I'm also like really wanting to play this. So I had to talk to manager for a bit. No worries. <laughs> I'm like quite content with playing this as well. But that's because Sandrock is like my love. I love this game. <laughs> and I just got my definitely not a ninja sword. <laughs> I also just found a Game Boy. <laughs> I feel like a... Uh, Samurai in uh, Final Fantasy well, uh, 14. I wonder how high I can climb on this. Treasure. Treasure! I see you! No, I don't see you. Where is Caramel Floss? Right? I wish Caramel Floss was here to play some Overwatch with me. 
<laughs> we have some super sweaty VTubers. Oh. Was there another one? <laughs> Sad. Wait, I, I can't even make my own weird noises. <laughs> I saw this on console and I'm getting this next paycheck. Yes! Oh my god, my time at Sandrock is amazing. The social system is great if you like games where you can like really interact with the NPCs. It, it feels a lot like... I cleaned the bathroom instead of working on D&D. Mood. <laughs> I have been there. <laughs> I was supposed to make myself a live 2D model, instead I drafted like 30 outfits. So I, I get you and the procrastination. I might be allergic to the new cleaner we have. My hands do not like it. Oh no! I hope your hands feel better. I'm sorry my dear. That's the worst. I have like painfully sensitive skin, so <laughs> one wrong cleaner in my skin is like I hate everything ever. Yeah, um, okay, so there's like a good balance of like crafting. Um, there's like a really competitive well, like here, let's go home. I'll take you home. So there's combat to keep it lively, because you know, there's uh enemies that drop items that you need for crafting as well as just like story that has combat um the story is I, I loved the story i might be super biased but i absolutely adored it um there is fast traveling there is mounts you can marry people um what do you think of rune factory 5 is that the one with all the unattainable milfs i wish they would let us like date some of the older characters in those games and not just all the little lollies, because like some of those milfs and dilfs were pretty great. <laughs> I I don't think I played for. But I'll take I'll definitely take your uh Five is like a downgrade. Oh no. And I'm really sad about it because I love the series. Oh no. Let me just see what the five is. And then Okay, so I've definitely played four, I think. That's the one on the Switch, right? Oh, I hate Ludmilla. Oh no, the way she talks bothers me. The main reason I'm re uh, oh no. Okay, yeah, I've definitely played both of them, I think. <laughs> oh, Ludmilla's a pervert. <laughs> I, I never really got into them. It seems like my genre, it's just... I, w I was having to do the hard grind because I got like level blocked for a bit in both games. Oh, as I was saying, so um, it's heavy crafting, but there is like farming in it because you can cook all your food and you need to like grow all the shit to be able to do it. Later on, you get like a greenhouse so you can uh, <laughs> place things better. So I have this really crappy little greenhouse full of uh, chestnuts and um, coffee. 
She's got the worst dialogue to read. Thanks, Automog. <laughs> yeah. Oh, la la la. No fuck off. <laughs> I don't know what's happening right now. Hiya. I have good news and great news. Which one do you want first? Uh, now that I think about it, I have to tell it in chronological order or it doesn't make sense. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh my goodness, I hate that. Anyway, over the last few days, we did several soil experiments with the new algae species. And what do you know? We Stop found this speaking like you're submissive and breedable. This is not only TikTok. Oh my goodness. But also has a decent water retention. It means we'll be able to make a bio crust that works in the outback. The only drawback is the topsoil out there lacks a lot of the nutrients needed for sustainable plant growth. So we'll have to apply fertilizer once in a while. Considering the density of the Yakmo droppings around here. I'd say we have an acceptable situation. <laughs> right. <laughs> now, the better news is that Mayor Trudy has already seen the results and decided to fast track the planting of the first plot of the forest. And that's why we're here. We need your help for the preparation work. Why don't you take over this part, Director Chi? Sure thing, Mr. CEO. The old hydroponic incubator that you built for the little woods doesn't work well at producing a new algae type because it doesn't have fluid circulation. So I've been assigned to design a new one. After tearing apart the relics you brought back, <laughs> which was fascinating, I was able to come up with the hydroponic cultivator. It has a continuous circulation system to allow for fluid flow and easier chemical adjustments. Here's the diagram. When you're done, please install it in the moisture farm. We set aside space for three hydroponic cultivators, which should be enough to churn out all the algae we need. Mion and the commissioner will make the other two. Thanks. You're the best. Oh, by the way, <laughs> The mayor also asked me to make an upgrade for the mobile suit so that it's capable of helping with the planting of the forest. I'm currently coming up with some exciting ideas of which I hope you'll help me implement at a later date. From one mobile suit lover to another, I thought you'd want to <laughs> I love him. Um, but yeah, I, I couldn't find, like, I didn't find the, uh, the Rune Factory mm. characters really interesting, which was really sad. And I think that was like the drawback for me. Yes. <laughs> I gave him a Gundam book. Delphi, to put it mildly, Ludmilla is the masochist and succubus who likes being subjected to pain. Oh no, that's horrible. I hate that. Not in my cozy games. <laughs> All right, so we need to make two more aluminum alloy plates so we might as well uh cancel q alloy 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 It's like super uncomfortable. She makes me really uncomfortable since she's like that from the moment you meet her and doesn't change. Oh, and she's, oh my goodness, no. I know it's a super popular trope for girls in anime and games right now, but uh, I wish she'd stop. Yeah, oh gosh, I hate that. I'm so glad that the characters in like Sandrock are pretty wholesome. And she's a shopkeeper, so you always have to interact with her. Oh no, I hate that, poor froggy. I'm sorry you had to deal with that. That's gross. <laughs> All right, let's see what else do we need. Um, we did that, we did that. And I wish you would just like show me exactly what we need. Mm, just the plates. Oh my God, we're so close. All right, and here we go. Let's go turn in some quests while we wait for the alloy to like flatten, I guess. <laughs> like the multiple farms, the way they are, I don't like them. I prefer uh, Rune Factory forest farms. Honestly, I can't remember <laughs> much about it. Oh, I feel bad. I'll 
have to give them another try sometime soon. Hopefully I have them as digital download and not like as a physical game because I haven't seen my Thank game you. collection in a while. <laughs> You always want drugs for me. Everyone wants to date her. It's valid. <laughs> but she has a daughter and you can date the most. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, give me some mature characters to date, please. It would make me ever so happy. Let's see. These props are fantastic. You remind me of the protagonist from the show, the greatest builder. Responsive, fast, with quality service. The only way to change the world is to be different. That line at the time was so inspirational that it motivated me to push forward and graduate from Atari University. <laughs> <laughs> the school will hold the model free cities tomorrow. Literally everyone wants you to be the judge. That's all for now, the greatest builder. I'll be off. Oh goodness, is Fuka really young too, I guess? I think that's kind of why I stayed away from the Rune Factory. I bought them and I tried to play them, but the characters just, they're too young looking. She can't really speak like the same language as you. Fuka looks like a child, like a literal child. Yeah, no thank you. She was made for furries. Oh. Is she Rune Factory 4 or 5? Rune Factory Fuka. Oh! Oh, the little bitey girl. She looks like she'd bite you, but like in a cute way, like a tiny animal scared of people. But definitely not my type. <laughs> uh, give me some milfs and dilfs and I'll be quite content. <laughs> like, uh, obviously my bandit man in this game, Dr. Fang, the broken doctor. And then, um, Obviously, Heidi's an absolute cutie in this game. <laughs> she's five. Oh, she's in five. Gotcha, gotcha. Welcome back, Halsife. How's it going? How's your tea? Ooh, uh, Sam, uh, not Sam Rock. Uh, Coral Island is pretty okay, but I don't know. Most of the cozy games just pale in comparison to this one in terms of like their social interaction with the characters, which kind of makes me a little sad. So we're all paid up. <laughs> in uh, second thought, I think I might just end up picking Scarlet. She's the only normal choice in the girl, in my opinion. She was good and glad to be back. Wait, it's a spoiler if you haven't played the game long enough. They aren't someone you can date, but I want to date them. Oh no! I remember this is giant cat man and I'm just like, I guess he's a, a, a suitable choice. <laughs> yeah, I'll have to try and give Rune Factory another try sometime. <laughs> oh, I am supposed to go this way. Okay. So we're looking for shiny things um, in the ground. No, not him. It's a girl. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, I really mold my way around here. <laughs> I want to date Gideon though. So I can ask him why his name is Gandache. <laughs> what? Oh, Shinies, let's go! <laughs> Precisely what I wanted. <laughs> I 
Oh, I got my gravitational motor. Might as well keep going for a few more. <laughs> Oh, Coral Island is getting their multiplayer at some point, so that's exciting. I'm looking forward to playing the crap out of that. <laughs> um, it's really cute, but from what I've played so far, I'm uh, the social situation in it's okay, I guess. <laughs> but I guess I have to stop comparing things to this game and Portia. <laughs> I've been half playing Harvestella, but I took a long break from it. I really hate one of the main characters in that game. Uh, Harvestella? Oh no. I've wanted to try it, but I, I just can't will myself to play uh, pay Square Enix prices. <laughs> They're so expensive. There's a main character you don't get to play as, but she's like your partner in the game. Oh. She, she apparently knows what's going on at all times, but never tells you. Oh, good. Don't you love it when that happens? Okay, that doesn't work. I'm out of stamina, shit. <laughs> well, I got my gravitational uh, motor, so that's all that matters. And then apparently, oh my goodness, that sounds really annoying. I was kind of excited to play it, but I don't know. <laughs> it looks cute. Maybe I'll get it when it goes on like hyper sale. <laughs> this is a convo, her, oh. So this is how they were doing everything. People, what are you talking about? <laughs> Harvestell is decent, but my god, did the plot make me angry if the other person just told you what was going on, we could have avoided so much trouble. Oh no! That's horrible. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it seems like you both have the same gripe. Auto sort. Pursuit. Uh, I don't have multiple cameras in my pocket, right? Nah. Are you telling me the item that has to do with the plot for the subchapter isn't important? <laughs> oh, that sounds so irritating. <laughs> Another item to our queue. Hydroponic cultivator. Oh, do we need just one or do we need multiple? 
I thought we could like two. <laughs> Might as well go to bed. Um. Then she says, oh, it's not important. The real question is, why is he using it? No, I think the real question is, what is it? Right through, uh, right though, to be fair, she was quite flipped in her thinking. My girl, what is it? She had a, the, I know everything and I refuse to tell every, everything. I refuse to tell everyone until dire consequences pop up. They forced my hand. God, it drove me insane. I was so mad when I streamed it last year. Oh no. Oh my goodness, that sounds so irritating. <laughs> oh no. Oh my gosh, auto sort. Here we go. Oh, I have an extra filter. Let's go. Oh, fix some permissions. Canvas, cantaloupes, whatever those are. Uh, let's go this. <laughs> oh, the game explained I needed the hammer. Why did they put the hammer in quotes? We'll never know. <laughs> oh, that sounds frustrating. Hey, Coop. Um. <sighs> Thank you. I honestly feel like I've been spoiled by my time at Stand Rock. I mean, its graphics are pretty good. It's got voice acting. And the social system is to die for. So it always makes me sad when, like, a 3D game doesn't live up to this. <laughs> I know every game is different, but still. I scream. Hey, Justice. Hmm? Oh. The same thing can be said for like grounded grounded like spoiled me so hard for like survival craftos it had a story it had voice acting it was so good um the the downside was that after you beat the story um you have to start like over because once you beat the game that was it <laughs> but i guess now they have new game plus so there's that Howdy. Mm. Because whoever designed the game thought that we were morons. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Hmm. oh, I have so many quests to do. We have to go to Model UN. We have to go install the hydroponic cultivator. And then we have to teehee endlessly as uh, Andy eggs Logan to propose to me. <laughs> eggs on Logan to propose to me. Or I guess, you know, hunt. <laughs> Let's go find the doctor who just teleported across the fucking map. Doctor, doctor, where are you going? I guess you're the last thing on my to-do list. <laughs> VAs cost a lot these days. That's why the game cut devs cut voices a lot. Yeah, I know. Howdy. But it's just such a nice <laughs> touch. See ya. <laughs> It's so good. <laughs> Is it really big? Nah, I thought it'd be bigger. I've been spoiled. This is amazing. <laughs> Neon, thank you for your work. With the hydroponic cultivator work. Oh, I also love the Atelier series. Enough fire crust for the initial but alchemy phase is of the just forest in no time. Then we can start planting. 
What a time to be alive. I can't wait to see this. Thank you. You've already done so much. You know, it was you that helped us get here in the first place. But of course, we'll leave you some seeds. First things first, we'll have to continue these. Right, let's get to it. Thanks, everyone. <laughs> I'm gonna go dream about trees tonight. <laughs> me too. See, Mian and Mia are perfect together. I ship them, they're so cute. <laughs> Rainbow dinosaur senior boots. Let's go. We got some crazy shoes. I wonder if we can help them get together. So my time at Porsche, you can assist NPCs in like romancing each other and proposing and stuff. And I thought that was just so adorable. I need to do a run where I do not romance anyone until I like get to the end of each other's stories and see who they want to romance. Because that's just so adorable. <laughs> oh, and their, their proposals can go wrong. I, I don't remember how I fucked up, but I, I, I definitely fucked up. Um, so I messed up this guy's Thank proposal you. and I felt really bad. <laughs> Will, Will, isn't a cute cat in a cutie chat? Hello, hello. How you doing? Zuzuzu, what are you up to today? All right, looks like we're down to going to school. <laughs> Hope everyone is well. Yeah, how are you doing? Everyone's favorite builder is coming in with like twin blades. Let's go. And a wedding dress. <laughs> We're all waiting for you. Things are all set and ready to go. And look, here's a placard that you helped to make. Just hold it up for whoever you think is the best representative later. Welcome, parents and students. I apologize for the delay. I hope everyone is ready. The show is about to start. Please find your place among the judges. Ooh, Ladies that's the end. They seem like cleric. Welcome to the cool. 15th Sandrock Mayor election. I'm your current Sandrock Mayor, Granny Jane. It's such a great feeling seeing so many young faces running for the next mayor today. Wow, great acting. That's not acting. She is Mayor Jane. As y'all can see, I'm getting too old for the role of mayor, and it's time for some new sapling to take over. Ooh, nice. I've witnessed so many D and D people in my chat today. Years, and everyone has been saying lately that we're the center of the alliance. <laughs> but I think our city still has the potential to grow even further in areas like entertainment, culture, uh, and city I'm running development. That's exactly what I wanted to hear in today's campaign proposal. My other group, I play an Eldritch Knight in a war with it. Ooh. Four representatives from the Alliance Council are also invited to be the judges of this event. They are the clothing mogul, Grandma Vegan. Oh, hey everyone. I'm me. I am clothing mogul Vegan. And I'd like to make clothes for people. 22 AC, 27 with shield, our bard Kate Sarlacc. Ooh, I don't understand, but that sounds so cool. <laughs> Entertainment industry leader, Miss Katori. <laughs> yep, better present some solid differentiation in your plans, or otherwise, I will not invest. Architecture and engineering mastermind, Miss Heidi. Hello, everyone. I hope you all do well. And finally, our biggest guest here today. Superstar Builder. Our judges should not be nervous. <laughs> yeah, but I'm editing a mace of disruption to make it stronger. So without further ado, let's welcome the first candidate, 
Miss Jasmine to make her speech. <clears throat> Hi, everyone. My name is Jasmine, and I am running for the mayor of Sandrock. Once elected, I'll put more resources into the promotion of our town and the education sector. Sandrock has a fascinating history and loads of town folk. Yet it has not been properly marketed, in my opinion. My plan is to set up a publishing house in Martle Square and invite Mr. Ernie, I, I mean, Mr. Ernest, along with Mr. Owen, to write up a chronicle of Sandrock. That way, we can spread the word of Sandrock among the Alliance and let more people learn about the city's rich history and culture. Sounds like she's been learning from her mom. <laughs> now, wait just a darn moment. Are, are As Sandrock's really population increases, I'm also going to divide the school into kindergarten, grade school, and high school, so that students within the appropriate age group can receive the focused education that they deserve. The plan will culminate in establishing a new university of higher learning right here in Sandrock, so that talented children don't have to leave anymore. Nice idea, Jeff. Oh, they're so That's cute. That's all for me today. Thanks, everyone. Thank you, Miss Jasmine. Next up, we have our next candidate, Mr. Andy. Hey there, how y'all doing? My name is Andy, and I have a master plan for the future of Sandrock. Let's take a look, shall we? What in the Jackbo is this? <laughs> I'm going to do a recreational business and revamp Sandrock into a giant theme park with attractions everywhere. Like the Yak Mill Ranch? Let's make a Yak Mill themed carousel called the Wheel of Yak Mill. I like it, kid. <laughs> After the revamp, the Marta Oasis will turn into a water park. Ideally, it'll be extended to the other side of the valley so we can design a waterfall. Let's call it Desert Fall. Workshop of the builder so that they can teach these tourists how to make the best handicrafts. As for the stuff they make, they'll buy it for themselves. This kid's got talent. <laughs> They're so With cute. With a large theme park like this, it'll be mad not to have proper transportation. Look, I've designed this super speed mobile suit backpack so that people can get to places fast. Oh, too bad she's not here. Well, that's all for my plan. <laughs> They're so listen. cute. Vote for me and you get free water park tickets. Well, I know who I'm voting for. Thank you, Mr. Andy. So let's give a warm welcome to our last candidate, Mr. Pebbles. Um, my name is Pebbles. And when I am mayor, I will grow my papa speaking company. I will have the awesome children So proud of you. Oh. Ain't a bad idea there, Pebbles. Good, very good. Thank you, Mr. Pebbles. After hearing everyone's proposal, I think the future of Sand Rock is in safe hands. So let's have our judges decide who's the best candidate. I didn't understand some of it, but I think Jasmine's ideas are well thought out. So I vote for her. I think Andy's ideas are a bit pie in the sky. However, it's not unreasonable, and it's opened up a lot of my mind. I'll vote for Andy. <laughs> no! Woohoo! Andy is the best! Well, Andy's idea is certainly thoughtful. I think some of the costs would be too much for Sandrock to handle. I think Pebble's idea is honestly not that bad. A more capable salvaging company would help our city. I guess I'll vote for Pebbles. Oh no, I have to vote. I don't know whether I appreciate that comment or not. <laughs> oh no. Uh, let's go Jasmine. Then Miss Jasmine will win the race with two votes. Congratulations, Miss Jasmine. You're now the newly elected mayor of Sandrock. I appreciate the support, everyone. Sandrock will surely become an even more prosperous place under my leadership. So that's it for today's Model 3 Cities. Thanks to everyone again for tuning in. 
This is such a great activity. I've never seen these kids acting like this before. As a parent, I also find it quite interesting. Yep. All the kids are so motivated. They are so cute. Say, this is a <laughs> genius of an idea for Miss Jane. I didn't even get the idea at first, but I was fully immersed at the end. Today's event went well thanks to everyone's support, and I really appreciate it. Learning needs to be fun, and we hope to do more in the future. That'll be all. Have a good day, everyone. <laughs> <sighs> Did I look nervous? Fortunately, the event ended in a blast. I felt like folks have now started to get my teaching style. That's such a weight off my mind. And it's all thanks to you. I'm awesome. You have been I know. so helpful and caring <laughs> since I came to Sandrock. I couldn't have done it without you. That's Friends so should help true. each other out. Can't wait to continue my life in Sandrock with buddies like you. <laughs> That's all for today. I haven't slept very much over the past few days, so I need to go catch some shut eye. See you later. Yeah. Okay, we did it. Oh, Grandma Vivi's alone in the classroom. We love Grandma. So wait, did she really become there? Nah, it was like a model UN kind of thing. To get them interested in politics and, uh, you know, issues surrounding the town and development. Do you have any more quests? today? Nah, we're all out of questy quests. Let's just parkour our asses home. <laughs> oh, okay. So... Um, so the game is heavily based around crafting, right? There are rankings that will get you rewards every month and every year. Um, as you can see, it's easy to smoke your competition. <laughs> as, as, as I'm doing so frequently. Ooh, chainsaw! Give me, give me, give me. And a dead eye rifle. Let's go. That's okay. It's actually pretty smart to have them learning young so they can fly when they're younger. Ex older, exactly. I'm annihilating them, yes. <laughs> Um, <laughs> uh, oh god, things are loading in poorly for me. Just ignore that. My PC is not the best, so it's, it's, it, it, it struggles a bit. <laughs> Come I don't know what you're doing out there, Rion. <laughs> um, so in my time at Porsche, you have a really strong rivalry with the, the uh, initial number one. Yes! Another weapon rack. I'm gonna put so many weapons out, it's gonna look so cool. My, buzz, my uh, bandit husband and bandit son will fit right in at my house. <laughs> Am I gonna be lazy or am I gonna walk? <laughs> uh, so as you rank up your uh, your workshop, you will be able to take on more commissions. Also, story-based ones that are like, there's very specific ones you can take multiple of. Which is nice, because you can just take all of them and leave nothing behind for anyone else. <laughs> alright, alright. Let's grab my little weapon rack. So we can put it out with all of our weapons. Once I figure out where I put them all. Okay, uh, we only have space for two, so I'm going to put the cactus out and the kitty paw. Uh, we'll have to wait till like two days to pass before we can put out more. Oh, just the cat. 
does not count as a cool weapon. What is this? Oh, interesting. Maybe it's because it's uh, a backer gift that I can't do it. Which seems a little silly to me, but, you know. It's whatever. <laughs> So we'll put the fishy, uh, the cactus one back. Do a quick sort. Put that away. Put that away. And that. Uh, we will try putting the cell staff down. Because that's not a DLC weapon. But it looks really cool, doesn't it? Like a dragoon weapon. <laughs> I'm moving, by the way, to a bigger house, and I'll be getting a new PC set up. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, my dad called me. I declined it by accident. I tried calling him back, and it went straight for I figured out what he wanted. It's okay. Oh, I'm glad to hear that. I'm sorry. That must have been spooky. I always hate it when that happens. It gives me so much anxiety. <laughs> it's like, um... I got a call and then I uh, called back but didn't get an answer. So I Googled the phone, well actually I Googled the phone number first and it was a hospital. So I called back and then they asked me for like, yeah, it was weird and roundabout. <laughs> he only calls to ask random weird questions. I love that. Hey, um, honey, I, uh... So I, uh, found something in the desert. A, uh, treasure map. Oh, is this a treasure map proposal? Thought it might have been left by some, uh, salvager or something. You know, back in the day. Maybe it's got some treasure or something there. We're going treasure hunting. There might be monsters, but I can handle them. Psh, I save your ass more often. So, what I'm saying is, you know, <clears throat> uh, anyway. Uh, there's a treasure. <laughs> oh my god, it's so Wanna cheesy. It it, it oh my god, it's saying. Uh, oh, the me. text on the map. It's so corny. <laughs> I'm okay. Let's go. <laughs> of course. Right. I got the map with me. We can set off right away. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Sin. No case for Abbott. You're adorable. Oh my god, that was just so much cheese. I can't even handle it. Please come see me at the research center. Higgins! Greetings. I am the builder from Portia who received your equipment. I didn't ask for it. It was forced upon me by the mayor who is concerned that my workshop is falling behind. Huh. Despite this eggy feeling on my face, I must say your craftsmanship is top notch. So as it turns out, I will be making use of your fine machines you sent me. Yes, I can tell from your work to take your craft very seriously. It's hard to find builders like you, the riffraff I have to put up with your criminy. The other builder here is simply insufferable. Always running around town trying to butter everyone up with gifts, hardly ever in their workshop. Why is it so hard for some people to understand that the only way to truly be a great builder is to only leave your house for 30 minutes a day for the express purpose of picking up commissions? Well, preaching to the choir, I'm sure, but I didn't write uh, to gossip to you. I wrote to thank you, which I have done most efficiently. You're welcome. If you're ever in Portia, feel free to stop by and for a meeting of the minds. I'm sure I'll never find a friend and other builders here, so your visit will be most welcome. From one true builder to another, Higgins. Higgins! Higgins is my arch nemesis from Portia. He's such a jerk. So mad at me because I inherited my father's workshop. <laughs> Higgins! Okay, sorry, it's been a while since I yelled at Higgins. It's all good. But you're a cutie bun. <laughs> I hope y'all are having fun. Especially with the D&D &D work. 
And congrats on the new on the move. I hope you have a super cool uh, setup. I can't wait to you know fix up my office finally. <laughs> I have this um, Lego office set that my friend got me for Christmas, and I've been dying to build it. <laughs> I might have to put it on like one of the shelves of various doodads in my office. <laughs> I haven't built Lego in so long. <laughs> uh, have another picture. For Thank you, Nia, for f <laughs> fueling my picture frame addiction. Okay, so we're quickly going to go put this on a wall. Here, our little weapon shrine. <laughs> okay, we're good, we're good. Okay, oh. Oh my god, please. Madam, you're pushing me right now. Okay. <laughs> Don't mind me. <laughs> oh, what's this? I guess I could always just stick it to a wall and hope for the best. Oh, those are cute. I bet they're character concept art for the builder. I'm gonna have such a, a time reorganizing all of this later. Do what you love. I think it looks cute. Oh, pastry is being cute, right? I saw this one video. Now my entire feed is Miku Miku beams. I need to finish my map encounters. Now you got this. Pastry rabbit's always cute. Oh, okay, <laughs> we are going so far away. Okay, don't fall off the cliff. We fell off the cliff. <laughs> it's a day that ends in one. I know, pastry rabbit's cute on all days that end in one. Goodness, whatever shall we do? It's such a cutie pie. <laughs> Okay, after this horribly cringy cutscene, I think I might go and make dinner. <laughs> I hope you guys are ready for, I don't know, cute and cringe. <laughs> I don't think this was in the game when I uh, initially played through it, so this is new to me. There's gonna be monsters. Yeah, I'm just gonna avoid them all. <laughs> Except I feel like we'll actually have to fight that rat. Well, it's just because she's an arranged rat. I love this sword so much. <laughs> I think we're here. At least Cutest. that's what the map says. Uh, let me see. Let's dig around. Oh no. Oh, looks like there's a box. What? Yeah, looks like it is. Ah, looks 
Looks like there ain't anything else. Maybe we can. Oh no! If these jasmine are lurking, sweet children. walk there they just teleport oh my goodness Phew. Oh. Yeah, that was close because it only took one balloon uh, to stop it darling, from floating I, uh, got something to tell you well, ever since i met you it's been like a yeah, this ain't me i'm not one for these you know prepared speeches or nothing hon listen to me i I'm gonna talk from my heart. I love you. I thought a thousand times about what would happen if I ever left you, but I just can't imagine life without you. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. It's so cringy. Will you uh, marry me? You will? The ring is standing up on its own. It's a ghost. These uh, last few days, I've been going over it over and over this plan. Jasmine and Andy helped me uh, set it all up. Tiny humans helped him. <laughs> they had a bunch more plans, but I couldn't wait. Seeing you in front of me like that. The trees are wiggling. I want to spend the rest of my days with you. It's been in my mind uh, a while. I can't stop the trees. Oh <laughs> it's gosh. finally real. I was waiting for the tree to come alive and just like stomp on people. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Andy, whatever. <laughs> How you said kids shouldn't see this stuff? Let me go. I want to see. I want to see. We can't watch. We're just kids. How are we going to know when they're done? Just, just wait a bit and... Just have a peek. Wait, we're abandoning the children surrounded by monsters. <laughs> Why are we abandoning I'm them? I'm tired from today. From now on, we're going to be together forever. They abandoned the children. <laughs> Cooper didn't even let like grown ass Elsie out of the town perimeter but we're going to abandon the children in the Eufaula outback I ain't never gonna let anything happen to me it's the little From details on, that drive me crazy <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it oh okay we can pick a, a pet name I guess oh we're just married like that <laughs> okay Okay, do you want to start the wedding? Uh, sure, I'm already in my wedding dress. Let's go. <laughs> uh, what day is it today? It is either today or... You forgot they're twins. Loop. Weaver. Yes. Okay. I think we have one more thing to do. Let's say hi. The kids put in a lot of effort today. Maybe I should give them a couple of gifts. Maybe you should go pick them up from the desert where you left them. Today was uh, a <laughs> bit of a surprise. But we're a family now. I'll never let you down. Pick the Remember, children up. Don't go hungry. You always tend to forget everything. You're getting married? I can hardly believe it. How is this the first time I'm hearing about your relationship with Logan? 
well, you don't have to tell me everything, but it would have been nice for some heads up. You've always had a good eye for people you get close to. I'm sure your new marriage is wonderful. We can't wait to meet face to face. But but the wedding is so soon. I'm afraid your father and I won't be able to make it in time. Don't let this put a damper on your celebrations, though, all right? You and Logan need to have a wedding that the Sandrockers will remember for ages. Uh, we'll be there in spirit. Send us pictures. Congratulations. All right, Hoopsley. Oh, shit. I picked up the fireworks. We have to go to the research center so we can re, um, we can fix up our Gundam. Oh my god, Hoopsley. You're having a whole freak out. This is why I take Merle everywhere. Whoop. All right, all right. One more cutscene, then we'll go to bed. <laughs> I hope y'all are having a lovely day. Also, Merle's just faster than the horse. <laughs> ah, you're here. Look at this. These are the latest upgrades I've designed for the mobile suit at the Depressive City Hall. By making these enhancements, it will become Mobile Suit Mode F. F stands for farming. I knew you'd appreciate this as much as I do. Ah, <laughs> uh, sure, you might say, but aren't missiles and plasma swords more exciting? Think of it this way. Have you ever seen a gun... A mobile suit doing farming? <laughs> no, we're treading on new sacred ground here. On the front is a custom rotavator, capable of churning any terrain. And on the back, an all-purpose multi-directional spray. Impressive, huh? Here, these are the diagrams. When you've constructed these add-ons, please come and store them on the suit. I'm waiting. Let's give him another copy of the mobile suit book. <laughs> your head is looking very symmetrical today. Furthermore, your mind is like an industrial strength drill, always finding its way quickly through the earth to valuable resources. Or how about... You shine bright, like a power stone. I'm trying out something called complimenting. Do you find any of these acceptable? <laughs> oh, you sweet little gooby. Oh my goodness. I love him. He is such a weirdo. I don't have the item. I think I gave it to him already. Big sad. All right, let's go. We have all the materials to build our Gundam. Oh, you know what I need? I need a double bed. Can I make one? <gasps> yeah, I'm gonna sign him work. Let's go. <laughs> I wish I could assign him gardening. I guess that just means I'll need to like fix what I have the robot doing later. Add to Kyo. Where's that rototiller? Rototiller, multi-directional spray, bam, bam. Add the cue. Alrighty, here we go. And now let's look at the furniture. Because I guess we're married now, so I will need to have a bigger bed. Alright, Hoopsley, we gotta go. Shopping! <laughs> So many quests. Goodbye, Captain. You just phased out of existence. That's okay. You're so cute. Single bed. Yak boy double. I guess we'll have to go with the yak boy. Unless Heidi has something better. <laughs> no. <laughs> the answer is just no. I thought I bought a better bed, but I guess I didn't. I'll have
have to wait until the 20th, I want to say. Look, look at the calendar. <laughs> um, oh, okay, that one's my birthday. Um, I think it's like somewhere between the 20th and the 24th is when the mysterious man shows up. And he will likely have a better item. <laughs> I'll need to upgrade my house real quick. I think I jumped the gun on this. <laughs> uh, oh, I can't put it away because I had to put the other bed down first. Okay. Which... <laughs> is proving to be a bit difficult. <laughs> Thank you for the head pads, Rabbit. Oh my goodness, please. <laughs> the bed placement struggles are so real. There we go. my stack uh, sticks down again. There we go, stat sticks are down. Let's find someone absolutely adorable to you. That's not creepy. <laughs> hmm? Good morning. I feel well rested. At least much better than spending the night in the wild. Alright. I'm gonna have to do so much work to upgrade my house. <laughs> Well, that is tomorrow's problem. Uh, you know what? Tiny Shield is playing some Deep Rock Galactic. Let's go get our rock and stone on. Tiny Shield is a fairy VTuber. They play a variety of games. They're pretty sweet. I think I've done one collab with them. Um, go check it out. I think it's their first time playing rock and stone. Um, or they're just a dwarf today. <laughs> uh, thank you guys so much. I hope you have a lovely day. And I will see you tomorrow. Heart, heart. Remember, I'm playing Content Warning with uh, Unleashed Soul and Nuff Nuff BT.